Good afternoon, folks. If this is your second stream of the day with me, thanks for rejoining me. If not, welcome. It's nice seeing you. We are going to be getting started with some more RimWorld very shortly. I've got the game booting up now as we speak because it takes a minute to kind of boot up because there's just a lot. Not only is there just a lot to boot up since I've got all the DLCs right now, but there's also mods too, so it just takes a minute. So I've got it preloading now at least. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to, the Cult of Lemur, which I'm going to try to use dev mode to see if we can change the name of our, um, fact, our ideology to be the Cult of Lemur. <laughs> that could be fun. Because, I mean, Lemur is, um, the first of our, first of our group to have perished, very unfortunately. But we've kind of grown stronger now, mostly, kind of. We have more people now, we just got to try to get more good weapons so we can defend ourselves and just be smarter about things like killing predators as soon as we can because they will later cause problems but yes we're gonna be playing some more room world but before we begin i am still fundraising for the lgbtq freedom fund which helps secure bail and get people get lgbtq folks out of jail <clears throat> in my home in my well, home state, I won't really, don't want to really say that, but in the state where I live, they've helped people, and they've helped people in quite a few other states as well. If that's if that sounds like a place you'd like to donate to, I have a donation button below the stream. I have an exclamation donate command that my chatbot shares every 30 minutes, and I have a QR code that will be on the screen once I take the screen, stream starting screen down. You can scan that QR code to also go to the donation thing. I don't get any kickback or anything from donate uh, raising funds like this. It's just the way I can fundraise while I play my special interest games. Any support one way or another is greatly appreciated. All right, well, it's definitely trying. I have a feeling I might need to readjust the Rimworld screen. It looks a little, a little funky. Let me look at the sizes. Yeah, it's a little funky. I don't know how it got funky, but there we go. Now it's look. I was like, wait, it looks a little stretched. Now it should be about right. And we'll just kind of. There we go. I was gonna say I'll kind of like scroll Twitter or something. <clears throat> well, this finishes loading, but hey, it just finished. All right, so let's load game. The purple octopus croca. I guess it's our group name. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to use dev mode real quick to change our our ideology to cult of lemur. Let's pause and let's. I think it's uh, options. We can turn to development mode. Uh, so let's go to our. Well, let me change the name. Hmm. Hmm. It might not let us. Oh, it. it, it I think it will now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna change this to uh, the. Cult of Lemur. <laughs> uh, rich room could be a temple. Sure. While well, I'm at it, adjective holiest member noun holiness. Sure. I'll keep that stuff. Okay. That's really all I wanted to do is just change it to the Cult of Lemur because I feel like that just fits very well compared to... I mean, this is Lemur's grave right here. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and go back and make sure dev mode's off again because I don't want to accidentally like do something weird and ruin the gameplay. Alright, so this, is, this was one of our things 
we're gonna be working on now as well as expanding this trap monstrosity. You welcome back, Neki. Thanks for joining me again. It's nice seeing you as always. I told you I'd be back after lunch. Well, I still technically have lunch. I've got some food I can finish while these critters are doing stuff. Genevieve who is in the uh, second trimester pregnant because as soon as as soon as Huntsman and her uh, hooked up like almost immediately they're like oh hey Genevieve is pregnant it's like great hey long time no see what are you heating I've got these like chicken bites <laughs> they're kind of like chicken nuggets but not really but kind of I don't know pretty good Oh yeah, we're gonna work on this too, just so we can keep our people safer during the winter. I might have Huntsman go hunt, well, hunt something. The hell happened over here? The fuck is going on? What hit you? Oh. I forgot about these these muffalo. <laughs> Whoops. Well, this one's um It's got toxic buildup, but it doesn't. There's nothing that's saying like the uh, muffalo is unviable. So let's. Um... No, you're not reserved. Reserved by wild boar. Fuck you, wild boar. That's mine. I'm the one that did that. That's my fault. What are you doing? Didn't I just tell you to? Oh, I, you're the one that I told to do that. I was like, wait, why? what's going on here? All right, so we'll just haul that back. See, I would expect this fucker to be what caused the uh, problem. But no, that was something I did last stream and then kind of just completely forgot about. <laughs> I'll probably turn this into a classroom eventually. This is our very small prison. Let's make sure everyone's uh, needs are taken care of. Genevieve here is just make it crunch up a bunch of these blocks. Cold snaps over. That's great, but it's almost too late in the season to grow anything anyway. Because this is the 3rd of September, and um, yeah, it's too cold. We're not gonna deal with this uh, vent here, but there is a way you can um, you can you can get something called a sun lamp, and you can just kind of grow plants indoors. So at some point we could do that to make sure we can just have food year round. But the other option is just grow a bunch of it during the growing seasons, like an obs an, ob an obtuse amount of food. And, like 
We're probably fine on food unless something goes horribly wrong. But this game takes almost every opportunity to let that happen. Why are you laying there? In like the middle of the traps. <laughs> oh, freak. <laughs> Diva is going to go sleep. And Olabar is tending the damn tree because that's like what he does a lot. And Jenny here is making more blocks because we need a lot more for construction. Trying to have Diva do a lot of the building because she has a she has a minor passion for it, so she'll be able to get pretty good at it too. It's also good to um have backup characters for stuff if possible, because whenever we lost Lemur, she was like level like 16 construction, but then we suddenly didn't have anyone that could really do it. Luckily Genevieve has the capacity to be pretty good at it. No, Hello, Canuda. Thanks for hopping in. I'm playing some RimWorld, and it's it's gotten a little... It's, I don't know if playing RimWorld is ever on the rails, so I don't know if saying it's gone off the rails is really accurate. <laughs> but we're, 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 we're doing what we can. Hopefully you're having a nice day. Yeah, or in our case, uh, one of our one of our passersby's got like murdered by a smile dawn, and this is where they rest in peace. <laughs> this is our combination tomb uh, temple. Isn't that great? Isn't that so ideal that you <laughs> have one that's both? Funniest shit though is um, Huntsman here is the old spouse of the person that's in this tomb. And this is a marriage spot, and eventually Huntsman and Genevieve are getting married right next to the tomb of his old wife. <laughs> I thought that was amusing at the very least. A little fucked up, but I mean, it's Rimworld. Um. Huntsman, buddy. What are you doing? You just hauling some more stuff? Okay. Cool. We're working, right now we're working on expanding this monstrosity of a trap hallway here. <clears throat> Honey, I love you more than I love that. <laughs> no. A horror of an ex buried here below us. No, she's not below us. She's like in this little casket. No, Twitch. Whore. She's like in this little casket. Right? So she's like right there. Just dead. It's just like, hmm. Mawage. Mawage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Well, this will probably be done by the time she gets up. What's your construction looking like? Dear we beloved. <laughs> That's a good movie in general, honestly. Like, really solid movie. Um, probably, probably my favorite movie. Just because it's actually just good. Uh, let's see, remove roof area. We're gonna have that all out here because <clears throat> we don't want roofs out here. Cause this is gonna be a place where we can have like, like this is kind of a backup place for us to grow rice when the growing season is here. But we could also build a um, a dedicated like uh, place with a sun lamp and just grow stuff year round somewhere around here if we really want to just trying to have like this this area oh there's also steel here nice yeah i'm just gonna just 
excuse me. There's just something cathartic about just like pro like having very meticulously planned like areas like this in this game. Just like just doing all like this is we got like a little lab. This is our prison. This is the, the tomb combination um, chapel. This is gonna be where we have like the royal person's like throne room or whatever. Uh, that's probably gonna be actually be like a classroom for kids. These are gonna be other rooms for colonists and our kitchen we're gonna probably expand this as we expand this out <laughs> brooks movies are great i haven't watched too many but if they're all like princess bride then maybe i should like maybe i really should oh we got some donkeys too they're doing what donkeys do best and here while they're eating hay uh, okay i think we're ready to have diva continue the construction Oh, we've got these little dryads that just shit out wood for us, which is great because we're gonna be we use a lot of wood for these traps, so that helps us kind of upkeep that very effortlessly. Uh, Genevieve, can you um do that instead? I want I want Diva to gain skill in construction because currently. Diva has a 5% chance of breaking a building that she's working on, which is not ideal, especially if you're trying to, you know, build important things. Yeah, fuckers like this are why we want this wall, because, uh, yeah. Okay, well, we can, we can haul this back in eventually as well. Um, after you do that, how about you, uh, haul that muffalo? So you might want to leave, dear. How about you don't do that? How about you, uh, finish what you're doing? And then you can eat your you can eat your food after. How's that? She's gonna like I'm gonna I'll just take that inside, like a full ass like <laughs> tray of food. I'm just gonna take that back inside. <laughs> Diva will go eat after this, and then mm, actually that one after we finish that one, then we'll be closed in on this side. Nice. Oh, morning sickness. Yeah, she's pr this this. She is pregnant. She and Huntsman uh, hooked up last stream, and like almost immediately, she got knocked up. <laughs> like it, di it didn't take very long. Admittedly, I've been wanting him and her to kind of hook up for a while, because after his wife died, he was in like a deep, dark depression for like an entire half of a year, and that we had it was it was a little rough. But he's doing better now. Even if his uh, left ring finger is destroyed and his right second toe is bitten off. Joke about roulette. We have this sick ass pool table. Infested city opportunity. What is that? You heard rumors of, inf in of in insect infested city ruins nearby. Some stuff probably survived and is ready for looting. But we would have to sneak by the insects or exterminate them. Yeah, we're, we're working on other stuff real quick. Lady here is working on making a, a statue. The hell is this? That looks weird. Um, untitled, untitled by Genevieve. Oh god, what is this? This work shows Genevieve Myers avoiding a falling ceiling that pulverizes everything beneath it. She appears to be terrified. A baboon waits in the lower part of the image. This this illustration relates to Genevieve nearly crushed by falling objects on 13th of April May, 5502. <laughs> I have a feeling that was earlier in the year when we had like a drop pod crash into her bedroom with a bunch of these pig people. They just crashed right in through the ceiling. I was like, oh, shit, I had her wake up and run away <laughs> immediately. 
Uh, well, we got this statue with 135 beauty. Let's see, where should that go? Would probably benefit everyone if it was in this room here. Because this room is, a uh, beauty is pretty neutral. So putting that in here would probably be for the best. And yeah, we'll have that queued up. Start. Can you stop? <laughs> Jesus. Just go fucking eat, you weirdo. <laughs> That's my one downside of having people do the stone cutting table for some reason. They'll just like really, really focus on it and then just not like feed themselves or I don't know. No, stop. Go to bed. Got a fucking hyper fo hyper focused ass little bastard. Olabar's awake. What are you sewing? Probably shouldn't sew that. We should probably just turn off sewing. Cause it's it's too late in the air to really get anything done. And so now he's gonna go play with the Granlin tree. Which in um in 5.4 days, it'll spawn a third uh, dryad. Okay, that such you didn't help all that much, honestly. Hard snow, boy, it's already that time. It's that time of the year. Thankfully, we have plenty of... Uh, I need to set your cooking order to be like one there, Huntsman. Um, because you, you absolutely should be doing this, but you're just not. I'm missing, oh, we're missing protein, that's why. Uh, well. Let us butcher a few things. And then... I was like, wait. Why aren't we cooking more food? Because I have it set where he's supposed to like make more food whenever... Uh, donkey. We're supposed to make more food whenever it gets low. What are you doing? Oh, you're building... You know, it's 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 probably fine. Actually, you know what? No, Genevieve, I want you to primarily research. You should be... D oh. You should be doing that. Uh, for research goes... It's a you to one. Because I want to... A lot of this stuff, like walls, don't have a really... Like, have a real quality... Uh, Spake <laughs> baby jeans. Skin color and mid-black hair. Perfect. Cool fact. Trans rights... Pog, yes. Pog, trans, trans rights are pretty Pog champ, you know? And we'll have uh, Genevieve focus on research. She's she's literally max level research. So she should be doing that whenever possible. Consume your fine meal after you finish that. Oh, nice. She just got a construction level up. Now she only has a 2% chance to fail building stuff. Okay, let's queue up some of these doors, because... Let's see. I guess you're my little pog champ. Trans rights, come here. <laughs> oh, I suppose... <laughs> We, we definitely want, um, and gaming in the Clinton years up. Uh, well, Remarl is basically a, uh, uh, suffering simulator. We just happen to not be suffering right this second. We gotta reorganize this trap hallway a little bit. It 
so that we can expand it out. And hopefully we can reinstall these without um, having Callie here get 10,000 bruises. Or like cut his like spleen open or something. Yeah, we're making this trap hallway just even longer than it already was, because, um... Hopefully I don't get a, an inconvenient raid while we're doing this, because that would uh, be problematic. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to need the same kind of stuff on each side of this little wall here. <clears throat> I think we'll have like a trap here and a trap here, or trap here, trap here. And then we'll do that. Yeah, that's that's how the old corners were. Actually, no, I need to reconsider how this is going to be. Because I forgot, there, I have this little access tunnel through the middle so I can easily come and fix traps without causing catastrophic possible <laughs> injuries. So we need to, that can stay there, but this one needs to move down. Let's move you. Try my best to kind of get everything where it needs to be for that we're gonna need to plug up these holes with doors because those are gonna be doors eventually anyway uh, door will be there at some point but we got to get everything else kind of moved where we need it to go and we're gonna have a door there too Another benefit of having the, this, these long hallways is if enemies are coming down this way, we can have someone stand here and like shoot at them to have a bit more of fighting, ch a f better bit of more of a fighting chance. We do the same thing at each of these things too, so they're kind of like choke points for enemies. So we have people with like long range guns, and then here at the end we can have all the melee people stand around and wait or something, but. Okay, still sterile, so all our food should be just fine. Oh, there's some more wood. These little critters squirt out like 32 wood every two days. So it's basically every day we gain another 32 wood, which is almost like one trap a day that we can make. Despite the fact that we have, you know, like, we have enough wood to kind of get by for a while. We, got, we also have some weed. <laughs> we grew some, uh... I could have swore I said no sowing. Like, these plants are almost certainly gonna just die. <laughs> um, allow sowing, no. Allow sowing, no. I, why did these get sown if I have sowing turned off? You know, whatever. Whatever. I guess the little bro was just bored. All right. Who who's even in here? Oh, probably a um, an enemy that we just hadn't got around to doing something with.
Hmm. That should be about all the. I'll put. In, I'm gonna put another door. Like here. Uh, so we need door there, and then there. This door will get moved here. I need another door there too. Oh, well, there's that two percent chance rearing its ugly head. So we lost like two um, bricks. Thankfully, bricks are pretty easy to come by. All things considered. So this would be a lot of good XP for Diva. Damn it! Why are you breaking shit? Okay, so now we can move. Not not that move these walls. Hi, Pookie baby. Hi, you dropped your toy, Bubby. Wee! Okay, and he runs away. He's a little weird man. If he was in a Kojima game, he'd be he'd be Pookie weird man. Or some shit. <laughs> or if I want to use his real name, he'd be he'd be spooky weird man. Oh co god damn it, Diva! Stop getting that f that two percent break chance. That's obnoxious. Okay, and then doors here. Let's follow the path along. We go this way. We're gonna have like traps like near all these doors. And then we'll get then we can post someone like right here to shoot at people. And those people won't have cover because they can't like duck into these little things because these doors are ours. Bubby, you're just he's just yell he's just in the living room just yelling. He just does this sometimes. He's just a little weird man. All right, so we go this way. We'll go this way, this way, this way, and this way. It's kind of like a tower defense game, but sometimes there's enemies that are um, that spawn in that are a little more devious and will be able to avoid your traps. So that's why I want to have these spots where people can kind of like shoot out from. Minor, br what, buddy? I know you love playing with your tree, but, but, but go eat some food, you fuck. He likes pruning his tree, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's an aesthetic, so... Oh! We're getting raided. Oh, god damn it, no... Leave Genevieve alone! Okay, you need to go hide somewhere because she can't just can't fight at all. She's bad at it. 
Well. This is awkward. <laughs> Wait, what do you have? Molotov, oh shit. Okay, well, y'all are gonna get out of the way cause this could be bad. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's bad, that's real bad. Run away! Lobar is just fucking going to town on people he's 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 good at mail you hit yourself with your you're bleeding out in 17 hours you loser wait is there some was there someone else i don't know but yeah let's get it got really it decided to get real exciting oh that's bad uh oh. Hey, you stunned everyone! You fucking idiot. <laughs> no, fuck you. You're not going anywhere. Oh, that's bad. Run away! Shit, we're, everyone's on fire! <laughs> How many burns do you have? Surprisingly, only like three. Oh. Jesus Christ. Well, they're gonna break this nice, nice ass bed we made. Everything's just gonna burn, and well, they they dropped in through the roof. Auto, unfortunately, auto turrets wouldn't have done much for this because they they d directly air dropped into their bedroom. <laughs> I guess they could probably have, and yeah, like unfortunately they didn't like come from the sides of the map. They came through the ceiling. How, how bad is Olbar hurt? Oh, he's fine. He doesn't have any real... In he's got, like, burns and some, like... Bur a lot of burns, actually. A lot more than I thought. But he was just kind of laying in a, a pile. Well, they destroyed, they destroyed their double bed. That's just rude. And these drop... These drop pod raids suck shit. No, not the baby crib. We haven't even got to use that yet. This is Gladius still in there. No, not a fine meal. No. Well, if that Gladius is in there, it's probably scrap now. It's unfortunate. That was a pretty cool weapon. No, no, it's right there. Stop breaking everything. Y'all are the worst. Don't really want to go in there with just one person because this 
fuckers got like stun flash grenades. So I'd rather let them just figure their shit out. Um. Okay, yeah, there, there, there are only like three enemies, it looks like. And one of them is just like... How is this metal sword burning? That doesn't make any damn sense. Whatever. Okay, how hurt are you? Um, your left leg's burnt. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you're like the one, only one that's not gotten like s super fucked up. So let's get you like an axe or something. I, I really need some better melee weapons because we're kind of in some dire straits. That sword's nice, but we should probably make some. Because the rest of what we have is just kind of bad. Uh, how good is this hatchet? Uh, 5.97 DPS. What do you have already? Wow, that's actually way better. This steel club's way better DPS. Yeah, just go do that. Like, if they break out of here, which... How hot is it in this room? Oh, it's unroofed right now because they broke through the damn roof. Look, they're lucky. They're like the two like worst things that we could have. We got stun grenades and fire. You are slightly burned. No. We'll just tend them without medicine. They're just burns. I'm sure it'll be fine. Stop. <laughs> the fire's just spreading there. God damn it. Do we have like some sort of like, I thought we had like some sort of, oh, we got this, that might be good. Damn it, those are, those are expensive. I'm trying to be cautious because I don't want to lose any other people to like, what did you do? You are a fucking idiot. You know what? You deserve it. You deserve it. You... You fucking deserve it. No, you're not getting out of here alive, asshole. You know what? I'm gonna shoot you right in the fucking face. I didn't say stop shooting. <laughs> That's what you get, punk ass. Oh, you're not even dead? No, you're dead. Wait. No, yep, yeah, you're dead. You're very dead. What a mess. <laughs> well, that wasn't that was a nice bedroom. <laughs> and now it's just not. We did get some flash grenades out of it. Those actually, that's actually really nice. We got these two useful things, but now we got to rebuild their bedroom. Ugh, whatever. We will recover. She's just been hanging out in here. I should have just like locked her. Don't go to sleep on the... Yeah, that's right. She doesn't have a bed right now because it's fucking... <laughs> it got destroyed. <laughs> uh, well, make a new double bed out of bones. That's, that's what the last one was made out of. Wake up. You don't...
pain in the ass. Everyone's got tattered peril now, so we need to work on getting... Well, I think we have to make... We have to go to, um... This to make r mending kits. I don't know how many it does, but we need some. Because our a lot of our clothing's a little fucked up now. Okay, you're fine to go back to doing something, and you managed to not get hurt whatsoever, Mr. Neanderthal. Good job. Go to sleep. <laughs> is Olabar taken care of? Uh, he is most certainly not, so after you... Um... Oh, I just had you, like, hanging out over here for some reason. I think I was going to have you grab a, a gun of some kind, but then that just ended up not happening. <laughs> uh, let's give you this, uh, mach this machine pistol. And then you can kind of go back to doing something. I don't even know. Okay, set owner, sign, and a sign. All right, well. Uh, how about we not use that medicine for that? Uh, how about we do that? Because this medicine is, is more useful for if we're doing, like, surgeries or something. Plus, we have a million of this herbal medicine. Okay, he's you're fully healed already. That's nice. Play some billiards. After that, we're going to have you start hauling these corpses to Splash Mountain. Because that is uh, what I've named the... Um, this little water area over here where you can see there's like rotting corpses splash mountain fun for the whole family if the whole family happens to be just dead corpses I guess rot stink lingering that rot stink was horrible and it feels like it's still stuck on me Oh boy, got pretty dinged up, but without him, we would probably would have not survived um, that raid. Yeah, they, they kind of just came from the sky. It was not ideal. It's unfortunate, though, because his uh, sword was destroyed. But I think if we make a uh, smithy or something, we could probably make him a nice, a nice melee weapon again. Uh, we could do an electric smithy. somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I guess I could probably put it like there if I like. I don't know if we need this anymore, but we'll just uh... let's just we're going to just uh, build a copy of that because these build it instantly and then let's Now we can put that electric, electric uh, smithy in there. When Genevieve gets up, I'll have her do that because. How's our food doing? No, we're, we're fine on food. How about you go haul this corpse first, please, and thank you.
He is not doing very great. He's in a lot of pain. He's desperate to, like, not be wearing, like... Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, go, go eat some food. That'll give you a mood boost. He's, like, desperate to be wearing clothes that aren't fucked up. He also gonna, he's also gonna smoke some smoke leaf. <laughs> La da 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 da. <laughs> dude's dude's dosing up. He's like, I'm gonna also gonna drink some psychite tea. Might have, might have to drag his. Genevieve is due to give birth in less than six days. You can prepare for the baby. Build a birth room with a clean floor and good bed. Get a skilled doctor ready. In the work tab, assign at least one person to child care. Prepare a food source for the baby. Genevieve can breastfeed the baby. Or you can feed them baby food, milk, or insect jelly. Oh boy. As if I needed this. <laughs> well, I did say I was going to have this be like a like a like kind of a baby room. like. But yeah, we might have to, we might have to drag Olabar's ass back to freaking bed. Because he's about to like... He's already high. I'm honestly surprised he's not just like, <laughs> just pat, like, fall on the ground from just drugs. <laughs> just drugs. Uh, who's got an, oh, well, well, he's got an awful lot of stuff going on with him. What are you, why are you sleeping in, no. <laughs> Why are you sleeping there? Yeah, we need to get this infection taken care of. Thankfully, Lady is a very good doctor. Or at least a good doctor. We'll have to closely monitor his infection. Let's see. Ten quality's pretty good. Yeah, he's he's just gonna be in bed for a while. Okay, how many blocks do we have of marble? I think yeah. Uh, is that enough for this? Probably not. But we're gonna floor this um, spot up with marble. And in the meantime, Genevieve is gonna make some more marble bro bro brocks? Marble brocks, exactly. Um, because we need, we need more marble bricks. <laughs> yeah, if we get a normal raid, this hallway is gonna come in super useful, but as you can see, we got like freaking. This is like the second time I've had uh, people drop through the ceiling into Genevieve's bedroom. It, previously, it was this bedroom, but this time, since this is her bedroom now, it was that one. <laughs> Alright, let's check on your infection there, buddy. What's it looking like? Uh, it, 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 the immunity is so far higher. He's a little, he's, um, Olabar is a little older, so his, uh, Im so his, um, immunity gain is probably a little lower. Because age has an effect on that. Another reason to have young colonists if you can.
We're gonna focus on um, simple apparel first. And if somebody's got and somebody that's assigned to crafting has free time, they'll do that. Well, you're like super. Your your mobility is fifty percent. Jesus. Because you're just extremely pregnant. Humans' pregnancy lasts for 18 days and is divided into three trimesters. As the pregnancy grows, it will reduce the mother's mobility. For some mothers, pregnancy may induce nausea or mood swings that can be hard to deal with. Some t yeah, that sounds familiar. We're gonna keep this baby prompt, baby prep, pr baby prep prompt. <laughs> That's a fucking tongue twister and a half. And a break wrist for Olabar. Well, no wonder he's like, he's gotten an infection. He's still got like burns all over his body. And like, that's like despite just being high off his ass from two different stimulants. Well, maybe not stimulants. Psychic T, I think, would probably be considered a stimulant, but not a, not smoke leaf. That's weed. Is that a weed? <laughs> Yes, that is a weed. Go eat, you little weirdo. Okay, now Callie is going to do some cleaning. His main purpose in life is to run around hauling stuff and cleaning. Which is nice, because it lets other people do other things. Like you just clean up the donkey pins. gonna have him start just repair like repairing up a bunch of clothes is that mega that mega sloth wool parka is extremely warm if we need someone to stay uh insulation 68 degrees celsius that's like the kind of shit you would like use to stay warm on like an ice sheet Wow, these, um, these, uh, kit things have, have a long, uh, sh shelf life's not the right word. They, they last a while. Oh, good job, Diva. Sh she should be at the point where she has a hundred percent, uh, repair rate. Yeah. Bar is just he's just on the mend let's see all right he's he's gonna be fine all right so we got a nice clean room well mostly clean uh, let's see build a birth room with a clean floor and good bed all right good bed it is let's get a nice a nice bone bed, you know. And Genevieve is going to build this because her construction is much higher. OK. 
Okay, let's see. We got a clean room with a good bit of skilled doctor. Somebody needs to do child care. I think I decided that Callie would do child care. Yep, because his um, social is actually pretty good too. He's also our prison warden. <laughs> And we got a good doctor, okay. Prepare a food source for the baby. I think I'd prefer to do be breastfeeding until we can't do breastfeeding anymore. So we'll probably deal with that. Go visit your friend, go visit your friend Lemur's grave. I was gonna say, I think they were friends. See, I, I had them set to this option to avoid pregnancy, but it, it didn't matter. They really, they really just wanted it. <laughs> so you know, sometimes you just want it bad enough. I guess. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Olabar is having a nice snooze. His infection is ten percent behind his immunity, so he should be just fine. We've got. A tremendous amount of herbal medicine in, in a freezer so that's not gonna be a problem all right well now that um, diva is at high enough uh, construction to easily construct well stuff successfully we're gonna have her start just f throwing tons of traps and down in spots that don't have traps. Oh, I need I need a door here too. Yeah, I need a door there and one there and probably one there. What do you mean not consigned to constructing? What? It's literally move the damn thing. You literally just did that. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever game. Can you do that for me, please? All right, let's get some doors put in these spots. I'm sure she'll get to that after she eats some food. She's praying. Let's see. I don't know if I I, I might have only, I might have a singular straight person in my colony. Maybe. Let's see. Callie is bi. Diva is gay. <laughs> Genevieve is bi. Lady is gay. Huntsman is by and Olabar is gay. Nope, never mind. No straights. <laughs> Not a straight in sight. Uh, what is Diva up to? Still praying? Well, after you're done with that, how about you go fix these doors up real quick? Nah, it's fine. I say that and we're gonna get like raided immediately. Okay, our batteries are looking nice and juicy. Okay, how is that? Uh, hey, lady, could you be a deer and take care of our our walking tank? 
Please and thank you. Kind of an unfortunate time to go to sleep. Okay, how much protein do we have? 19. So we need to probably cut up a few more animals and maybe hunt some more too. Um, I got these, which is fine. But if I can get some more for the fridge, that would be smart. So I kind of wanted to initially tame some alpacas because you can, they can give you wool, they can use for clothes as well. But that didn't necessarily work out. We got a little sidetracked that first year and just bad things, just bad things. Let's see, there's a red fox, there's this fucking goddamn crocodile thing that scares me because they're very fast. Uh, Mega sloth, that's of interest. Uh, there's some, mu some muffalos as well. We could probably kill a few of them if we're cautious. There's one right here, actually. After you eat your fine meal, how about you go, uh, go hunter in? Let me look at where the predators on the map are, because... That's smi- that's- the smile is gonna cause me some fucking anxiety. Tempted to kill it, or at least try to kill it. Okay, it's hunting a rat. Well, mmm. I'll deal with you later weird ass weird murder cat it's not the exact smile don that killed his his ex-wife or should i say dead wife because she's not really an ex so much as she you know died <laughs> but mm, i don't know semantics it's technically an ex-wife but not in the sense of divorced in the sense of she's no longer alive <laughs> all right well Pew, pew, pew. How many shots did I hit? Uh, looks like at least one. At least one. The toxic buildup is probably almost gone. Yeah, it's almost gone. He'll bleed out in 16 hours, okay. How about we have, have that happen a little sooner? Okay, you're gonna bleed out in five. Let's just drag you, let's have you bring yourself closer to the base. I don't feel like carrying you back. Olabar is no longer incapable of walking. He got over his infection with 13% to spare. So he's just going to continue resting to get rid of all of his bruises and such. Let's see, what's Steve up to? She's finishing up some of this construction. What about you? He's mostly just cleaning, which is fine. That's kind of what he does. And Huntsman is dragging this very much in pain muffalo back to base. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it like starts collapses on the way back. <laughs> It's angry. Angry. Uh, I might actually make it to the base.
Oh, when it gets closer, we'll put it down. Ah, oh, I was afraid of that. This one had a toxic buildup in its system, and well, it's no good for us or anything now. Well, that's unfortunate. There was a fairly small chance of that happening, so I was like, okay, let's just go for it, and well, no meat for us. Perhaps I should get a better, let's get this weapon, because it doesn't seem like it does much damage per shot. Uh, 11 damage per shot, but it has a 3 fire burst, so it could do... It could do, uh, 33 damage. I don't really know how the damage stuff works. <laughs> Pretty low cooldown. Let's look compared to this. 18 damage. Yeah, it's technically better in every way than that, but this thing is much further range. We've got a revolver, but that be silly to hunt with that what about this <laughs> this uh, oh that's an auto pistol hmm hmm yeah I think this this assault rifle is probably our best uh, bet for just numbers I don't think I see anyone outside of the base right now. So yeah, let's let's try to kill this smile done. Angie. Oh, I hit its leg at least. That doesn't make me feel much better. And we're probably not sticking around for another shot. Dude, look how look how fast this fucker is. Yeah, we don't want to deal with Yeah, it's just gonna be mad for a while. Where you going? It might be going to our hallway where Diva is standing. What are you? What are you doing? N no, you are not gonna do that. This thing's just kind of angry right now. I no, they're all very desperate to haul that. Rotting muffalo corpse. I feel like this thing is moving towards where Diva is, so maybe we should just, uh, Park her right here. In case it decides it wants to kind of... <laughs> Angry kitty. If there's one thing I, I would give Genevieve, uh, skill-wise, instead of this fucking mining thing, would be, like, shooting. So that she could be more helpful... In combat because otherwise usually I just have her like run away and hide because she can't really fight very well pew pew yeah we're, we're gonna try to pew pew some more at this um... this kitty here it's a little fast it's a little fast for my taste for uh It's a little fast. I could step out here and try to get a shot off with Huntsman. Around the corner, maybe. But it's just kind of wandering off. I don't know.
Oh, I hit one of them. Get back inside, you fool. Okay, it's, it's bleeding a little bit more now. Oxnard has joined the bean army. Thank you, Oxnard, for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. We're just playing Pop Goes the Weasel with this freaking angry cat here. Let's uh make sure we're not going to have any uh, problems here. Okay, it didn't quite break the door. It came kind of close, but that's fine. I can just have a huntsman fix the door. While we kind of let this thing bleed out a little bit more. Let's see if we make a cool weapon for um, a short sword of ancient design, good for stabbing or slashing. It's light and nimble, which sometimes lets it beat bigger, heavier weapons. Do anything of a good weapon to make for um, throwing rocks? Uh, a good weapon to make for um, bone armor. That's an Iqua. A short spear handle attached to a long bladed point. Designed to be driven to vital organs with a quick thrust. Um, let's compare this and the Gladius. Like, if we go to details and do this, it can show us a steel form of this weapon. 6.71 for the, the Iqua. And then let's go to details. And... Okay, so yeah, the Gladius would be a better one to make. So we'll make a glad we'll make one gladius after Gen after Gen after Genevieve sits here and uh, goes and eats some food. And you might say it's not very sportsmanlike to like just keep shooting this thing, like popping on, just shooting it some more. But yeah, this thing will just one of these is the original demise of our one of our colony founders. So I don't I don't treat them fairly because they are not very fair creatures. Granted, they are a modded creature, so they're not really designed for base game play in the first place. Okay, we're just slowly but surely making it bleed out more. So once it wanders away a little farther, we're gonna try to shoot off another volley of bullets at it. Ooh, we hit a few of them there, nice. It's actually got a uh, bleed out timer now. That's good. Get far enough away from the door, it'll just kind of forget that you are you shot at it. Oh, we got two shot volleys off that time. I'm getting a little brave, maybe I shouldn't. Its left eye is just gone. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Now it's moving's a lot more reduced, so we could probably get a few more volleys off that way. Good shooting experience. Oh, 
Well, now it's down to six hours. <laughs> we are doing the pew-pews. Uh, let's see. I think I told her to make a gladius. She, she, looks like she's rolling a fat blunt, but... Uh, she's probably... Yeah, she's also a really good crafter, so Genevieve's just a really good colonist here. Olabar is still recovering from the burns. Thankfully, they're not scars. We got them to them in time. And you're doing that. You're just kind of hanging out. Uh, let's not... I wish you would do something else. Like, anything else. But, you know what? You know what, lady? Go to your room. Bad. Because <laughs> if she goes out there to try to grab that that rotting corpse, that's not going to go very well. Because we have a... Um, we have a, pro a bit of an, of an angry kitty outside. And it's pretty soon we're going to be dropping this thing. Pretty soon it's probably going to pass out from blood loss anyway. Because, like, it's... It, 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 we, we've, we've basically destroyed both of its eyes. <laughs> So it can't remove very well, it can't see very well. This thing's just not in a good way. Which is good, it doesn't deserve to be. Okay, we, we it's dead. And hey, we can we can uh, use it for food. All right, lady. You, now you can go get the corp, the, you can go haul the rotting corpse. They're just so desperate to like haul, haul that rotting corpse. Like this fucking thing is just, just rotten, rancid, you know, and just. Genevieve's doing that. Diva's standing here because I was I was convinced that Cat was trying to come over here. What are we researching right now? Machining. Which will let us eventually get to where we can make guns of our own, of our own manufacture. Which lets you just make guns to have to like hope that a trader comes by that has guns. Uh, where's the next predator at? I'll just fight fucking predators at this point. Hmm. There is a grizzly bear. But that's a little far away. Uh, let's see, the Quincana is kind of out here on the outskirts too. And then there's just like a red fox. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the animals are spread out fairly far. There's a nice little herd of of muffalo over here. No, that is the right name. That is the right name. I was I was watching someone play Don't Starve Together today, and there's creatures called Beefalo in that game, so my brain sometimes just mixes the two up. <laughs> oh yeah. Go play some billiards. He's just like, oh I'm bored. <laughs> How about you mend some more clothes? Olabar is finally fully healed. Still getting over his infection. Smoking some more weed. <laughs> Drinking some more psychite tea. I have those set to a certain schedule where they're allowed to drink them if their mood's low. Like, social drugs here, like, every two, if they, as long as they don't do it more than every two days, they should be safe from getting in any addictions from smoke leaf and psych IT while still getting, being able to use them for their, um, mood boosts. And Diva here is a waster, so she needs Psychite to survive. So she every once in a while will go drink some to keep her uh, self con contained.
Ooh, that's a good Gladius. That's a bone Gladius, huh? Well, I admittedly probably wanted one made out of a uh, steel. So let me uh let's let's make one out of uh steel this time. I mean, that's still a very good weapon, and we do have some melee people that can make use of that. I have a feeling that, that Gladius might be better DPS than this club. No, wait, no, this club is way better than this. Than the, well, that's fine. Uh, let's see about making some more, uh, shelves for weapons and the like. Like, let's see, clear all, let's go to weapons. Melee weapons. We might make a smelter to smelt down some of these crappy, like, steel knives and stuff that are kind of just taking up space. Okay, what are you up to? Visiting your grave. You're praying in your room. Now you're gonna go eat some food. Uh, Huntsman is researching. Oh yeah, we're at we're short on protein. If we're gonna make some more, um, I'm trying to keep bodies in reserve. That sounds fucked up. <laughs> All right, you can finish your 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 big ass blunt later. All right, let's make sure we got baby prep further along. Let's see, birth room, skilled doctor, seven percent child care. That will be Cali. Prepare food for source for the baby. Genevieve can breastfeed, or you can feed them baby food, milk, or insect jelly. Okay, let's make a crib, and I guess we'll put it in uh, their room. Well, they seem to be get targeted for fucking raids all the time, so maybe we should... Uh... Make the crib in here. <laughs> make a bone blackboard while we're at it too let's, let's just keep on going with the bone furniture uh, let's see crib hmm Oh, it's right there. I just completely missed it. Bone crib. <laughs> With a toy box. Also made of bones. Because we haven't had enough fucked up furniture in our lives.
Oh, well, the bar. Well, he has admittedly gotten this, uh... This tree's, uh, connection stuff pretty high. What's up, Olivar? Unsightly environment. There's just a bunch of stuff everywhere. Cramped interior. Uh, still sick. Slept in the cold. Ratty apparel. What? What do you? What of your stuff is a, is ratty? Well, take it off. He's like, oh, I'm I'm unhappy. Well, then take the damn clothes off. It's like it's ratty. Just don't wear it. Just don't fucking wear it. <laughs> Cargo pods, what we got? Way down here, huh? What is this? Lizard skin? I mean, alright, cool, whatever. I'm sure someone go out and get it. And by someone, I mean Callie. You'll go grab most of it, it looks like. And it looks like um, everyone else decided they need to go grab some lizard skin as well. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a line of blood from the muffalo we were, we were shooting at. That ended up going rancid. Alright, butcher creatures is complete, which means we have more meat. For making more meals. Blah, blah, blah. Genevieve's got some intense morning sickness. up some of this mining here for lady if she's not got anything else to do have her finish off this gladius turn the roofs off I don't need to see those Olbar reached 16 in plants. That is the one benefit of him doing this is that he's like the plant dude, so his plant skill just gets really high. As, as well as being a good doctor, she, Lady is also... <laughs> ladies, she's the lesbian miner. She just... Oh yeah, I put this table here specifically because these fools think it's time to eat, like, always around here. Like, without fail. They're like, oh, it's time, it's dinner time, and then they kept, like, eating this food without the table, and then getting upset that they ate the food without the table. You know, very much self-inflicted problems that are now my problem because they make it my problem. <laughs> Olabar is still not very happy. He's also just ignoring his uh, need to eat food because he's just that enthralled with playing with the, the tree over here. Alright, enough of that. Don't you finish a Gladius? Oh, that one's just a normal Gladius. 
I feel if the other one was good, it would be uh, way better than that one, but you know. I'll have him grab that. No, not, not you. I meant Olabar. Whoopsie. Well, we could technically expand our fridge some more. Diva's having her every so often um, Psychite Tea. Uh, I made a special assignment of Diva Drugs of it for her for um, mood and just like maintaining her stuff. I could probably limit to her doing it every five days, but mm, whatever. Generates a mild euphoric effect and lets her stay awake for longer, even though she's literally going to sleep. <laughs> it's like it's like having a big it's like having a cup of coffee right before going to bed. <laughs> Excuse me. Too large. Donkey one has given birth. Oh my God, like this donkey one's had nothing but boys. If we could have another girl, that'd be great, because you are 12 years old. Granted, that's like middle age, but still. I would rather have another uh, girl donkey at some point. Shit, at some point, we might have to have another barn. <laughs> or, like, have the barn be bigger, because... Yeah... Check out our Let's make this this is hay grass. Let's make this as big as possible. There we go. That way when it comes time to grow this for real, we'll have a whole bunch of a ground to just... Great, I think we have a cooler in here now. Wait, is this cooler... Oh, I never set this cooler to actually, you know, cool things. So now this will get, make it nice and toast, nice and frosty in here. And this hay will freeze, so it'll last forever. I mean, otherwise it has a long shelf life, but you can make it last forever and ever and ever and ever.
what sentiment up to. Research? Alright. It is kind of cute how they research together. So machining is done. Okay, we need to research plate armor. Long blades. You craft long swords and spears. Hmm. Steel slot. That would be better than a gladius, but. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the plate armor, and then we'll get flock armor and gunsmithing and start getting some... Donkey... Damn! Granted, there's like... At least two, two adults for Donkey 1 to get knocked up by, so... How many baby... We don't have the baby yet, so zero. <laughs> Gen Genevieve is close to popping it out. Yet. <laughs> She's close to popping it out, but like. We expanded the trap hallway, and now it is a truly monstrous fucking thing. Wee, 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 wee. I technically did this wrong, but I don't really care. I don't. I. I no. I have this hallway here. It's fine. I have these hallways so I can have people like pop out here and shoot at people if necessary and the traps help do damage and I can have the same thing like at this end too and have people quickly duck back into safety and I'm trying to be smart with this I know you can like make a kill box kind of thing and that might eventually she's out here just cleaning up all the, the smile dom blood yeah, let's smile on blood. Uh, what? Oh, this fucking crocodile. It just killed a, uh, it just killed a smile dawn, apparently. God damn. I mean, I don't hate that, but like, sheesh. Guinea pig. <laughs> but I'm not a fan of this big ass crocodile. It's part of the megafauna mod, and. <laughs> A lot of cool creatures, but they're not, they're, they can be a little hard to deal with. What is Genevieve doing? Playing billiards? I guess that explains why Olibar is making blocks and not her. You're just cleaning filth, okay. Mm, it's not really an awful lot for her to do right now. Uh, she's got a machine. I could go sh have her shoot this rabbit, I guess, before the crocodile eats it. Uh, where was that rabbit? There's a red fox. Kill that too. Uh, wildlife. What we got? Boomalopes, huh? That muffalos. Mega sloth. This mega sloth down here is a little closer, but. I, feel, I have a feeling that hunting that would be ill-advised. Oh, there it is. I was like, where the hell is this rabbit at? Hunting season. I 
I'll hit you eventually. There we go. <laughs> I shot it in the the rear left leg. Just having her chase, ha, having her chase after this fox with the tame dinosaur. I don't have anyone that can tame, unfortunately. Uh, what taming skill do I even need for this fucking thing? Uh, wildness eighty seven percent. Uh, not blocked by fences. Life expectancy, 110 years. Jeez. Uh, trainability, advanced. Uh, filth rate. Carrying capacity, pack animal, yes. Um, trying to find where the taming skill. You need a, need a minimum eight taming skill. Unfortunately, we don't have, we don't have anyone that can tame animals very well. Let's see, does anyone even have a passion thingy in it? Um, no, none of our people have a passion in animals. Maybe the baby will. In the spirit of Lemur. Lemur did have an animal did have animal skill. But she's very dead. And probably a and probably a skeleton right now, so that's not gonna do us much good. See, I was hoping to have her tame some animals, but then she got killed by a goddamn smile dawn. So. Just take it. God damn. Good job. I wasn't expecting to actually take it out like that, but. Oh, hey, there's a dead raccoon. Let's grab that, too. Waste not, want not, and all that. Did a rabbit make it into the fridge? Uh, maybe? Is that what Olibar's doing? No, he's hauling the raccoon. Where did the rabbit go? Hmm. It's a little annoying. Have them haul these blocks too while we're at it. Just to have. Just give people something to do if they've got nothing to do. Have them just haul some blocks. Or stones or whatever. Surely that rabbit got brought in. in. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I'm blind. I'm blind as fuck. What other critters we got around here? Let's see. Critters. Oh, by the way, hello, Birdie. Good afternoon. Uh, there's an Ibex doe. We we'll can probably shoot that pretty safely. Some of the some of the boar. Yeah, how about how about you come up up here, Diva? Start blast. Start blasted. She's like. So anyway, I started blasting with the machine pistol. I was just randomly killing these uh the red fox is, is like running around like killing stuff i'm not shooting the boom <laughs> not only will it probably attack me i mean am i i think they have a bit of aggression 
they will explode and cause me some problems. Now, it's something I probably do want to have a uh, boomalope tamed because you can get chem fuel from them by, by milking them. But again, I don't think we have a. Um, yeah, we don't have anyone with the taming skill. So we. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a ten percent chance that shooting one will make it come after us, and that would not be ideal. Where are you going, Stinky? Don't you fucking leave! Don't you fucking leave! Don't you fucking leave! Don't you leave! Oh goddamn! I didn't expect it to die. All right, cool. There's some more food. <laughs> Uh, looks like Lady's gonna go out and fetch this mo partially eaten dead squirrel. <laughs> what a trooper. What a fucking trooper. What is this? I can go back on the shelf. Uh, it's making helmets and stuff. Whip. I think I need a, um, let me see, production, I think I need the, uh, smelter so I can, uh, melt down some of these crappy, uh, weapons that I don't need. Yeah, like these poor axes and stuff just aren't worth using and they've taken up a lot they're taking up a lot of space so how about I'm running out of real estate for these crafting stations all of our buddy what's got what's eating you ratty appear well, if, you, if it's so ratty, stop wear. Put the damn bib apron away. I told. I thought I told him to not wear that anymore. And he's like, you know, fuck you. I want to wear this ratty piece of shit clothing. Uh, where is it? Take it off. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> some point in the near future up oh. what are you trying to do get her extra pregnant <laughs> Jesus <laughs> pregnant plus now I'm sure you can set things up to I'm sure there's a way you can do woohoo intensifies <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there's a way you can set up your uh, ideology where you don't care about tattered clothing or corpses or whatever I should have been a bit more um, studious and oh yeah, I had no idea why Olibard decided that plant planting this stuff was a good idea. He planted it like right at the very end of the growing season, so it kind of wasted some of his time. But you know, whatever. Okay, what are you? No, oh, he's moving out of the way. It even woke him up. No, I. I could have swore I told him to build the electric smel smeltery, or whatever. Well, I just wasted like twenty-five steel that I'm never gonna see again. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, let's uh Where is it? There's a fuel electric wh why are they separated? What whatever game. Whatever. Wait, what's what are they just try doing? 
I saw little hearts. What well, what happened? Did somebody just did Lady just try hitting on Diva? I mean, good on ya. Oh, um, maybe. I mean, they are like both gay, so it makes sense. It's just like they haven't really made a pass at each other before. All right. Hmm. What in the hell was I doing here? Excuse me, what? <laughs> I mean, that's actually a good one good one to have there. But Yeah, I need to put another power line probably up this way. Yeah, no idea what happened there. Earlier, a uh, raid airdropped right into their bedroom because of course it did. So let's rebuild some bone furniture. I've got a lot of bones, so I'm trying to use them to like build all the furniture with. That's not messed up at all. Just. They're most likely animal bones. Most likely. Uh, did this get connected up where it needs to? Yeah, it did. Alright, smelt metal from s smelt weapon. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Awful to pour, yeah. Like, if they're normal weapons, I'll probably be fine. Um, keep, I'll probably, I'm fine keeping normal weapons, but like anything that's like lower than that, yeah, I'd like to uh, get rid of those. Like this knife will give us a little bit of steel back. Let's maybe exclude the, the, the guns, because even a bad gun is generally pretty useful to have. Time to consume. And slippy. Slippy. Sleepy. 
Oh boy, is this a fault in electrical conduit has caused a short circuit. All power has all the wattages has been discharged. Any serious damage is presented prevented by the fuses. I love this mod. <laughs> Let's you have like fuse boxes that you can like have fixed instead of. No, I kind of want to disconnect this anyway. Because that just has a lot of power draw. Okay, it should still be a little chill in here because it's cold outside, so. Yeah, our stuff will be fine. Oh, no, not too bad. How many components do we have? 49? All right, that's all right. That's pretty good. That's a good amount still. He's playing with his tree still. There's this. Um, in another 3.2 days, we'll have another woodmaker dryad, which means even more wood for more traps. Which, hey, they actually got all those put together. Sweet. As far as bricks go, we have a good amount of granite. I might try to expand fridge out some more. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to do about this. So I could expand the fridge to be this big, but then I might need more coolers to kind of maintain the cold. Probably a good idea to do that anyway, though. Because I can just add, like, Matter of fact, we did finish researching this. It just needs a lot of steel. Hmm. I do want this here, and we could also put one up here, too. I'd probably run a line like this up to here. Let's maybe plan out, plan this out before I make, commit to uh, doing that. I think it was like right here that I could uh, put a wall. Let's double check that. Yeah, okay. I guess I, I guessed correctly, so we could do something like this like a wall up here and then we could run the cords coming from this over to here and that'd be a massive boost to our power just temporarily put the uh, that so I can see exactly where I need to put the orders because it's still paused so they're not gonna we can do this build like a little room around that of like a door or two yeah I feel like that'd be good. Okay, so let's cancel that and then we'll put orders there. Okay. And let's
let's go to the zones, remove roof, we'll put that in here, because I'd still like this to be outside area. We could even have a few more uh, solar panels over here too, if it really, if we really need power that badly. Or this could be like an emergency power grid. Actually, I think I like that idea better of like this being like an emergency power grid for if like this kind of shit happens again, and just keep it off here to on its own. Yeah, I like that that idea better. In that case, let's change our plans just a little bit. Wow. <clears throat> what we can do then in that case is do that there. <clears throat> the power switch. We're not going to put the power switch in yet, but we got a power switch in like set of batteries with a breaker on it and this would be backup power or maybe no I probably shouldn't uh, do yeah, I probably sh yeah I'm not gonna do the um, hmm maybe I should just I've got a different idea yeah um, but we're gonna have the switch directly on here because this will run 24 hours a day because that's steam. You don't have to worry about, like, oh, it's, the ni it's nighttime or, oh, it's not windy or whatever. And yeah, we're going to just... That's guaranteed going to be there. But we could probably have cord run up here. And connect there. And we can... We can keep the power, we can turn the power on if necessary to get the, get the stuff coming from here to go there, but otherwise, yeah, just like, because if, if I have another set of batteries, it could have the case where like, it's just sitting up here minding its own business and then there's like an event that causes it to fry and then it's just extra wasted resources for not any gain, really. I think we're gonna add another row of batteries here though, just so we can have more power. And we probably need some more panels too. Yeah, let's focus on getting that and then we'll get door in uh, let's go to our zone remove roof area okay that means roofs won't be built here but they'll be built here and on the walls okay that's fine She's trying to go research. <laughs> She's having some, some morning sickness on the way. Work frenzy. Thanks to high mood, Genevieve has experienced an inspiration. She'll work fast for the next eight days. Oh, that's perfect. But, well, she can stop throwing up, that is. <laughs> clean, up your, clean up your own goo. Diva's reach level not nice. Which means she'll she's gonna be more more she's gonna be very she's already very useful as having somebody that can construct that's not Genevieve. Cause that just lets her research more often. Looks like one of the batteries kind of fried a little bit. Okay.
Yeah, we know. Work frenzy. Cargo pods. I think we got everything from these. Yeah. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. <laughs> oh, Olabar is doing that, okay. I was gonna say, that'd be nice if someone could make some more blocks to replace what we're using. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Plate armor's researched, okay. That's a good one to get out of the way. Xenogenetics is... Basically how you can start doing the biotech stuff of like isolating certain genes from other people and then uh, using those genes to um, like just modify your people. Uh, let's go ahead and start on uh, flak armor. If you're so busy cleaning dirt, how about you uh, do that instead? I don't care if you want to clean dirt, that's literally outside, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wait, what are you doing? You could get you could totally get out. You're just having a weird You're just doing weird shit. Discords here. Let's see. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine because one of my friends sent me a video. I'm sure it's fine because she's you know one of my mods, but still, <laughs> I'll I'll watch that later. <laughs> I was just checking my Discord uh, notifies. That's taken care of. When are you gonna pop, Genevieve? Hopefully it's soon, cause like last time we got raided and they dropped in on in from the sky. She, she, man, she had enough time to get out, but like, <laughs> I thought something bad happened because they just finished, you know, doing doing the sideways dance. 
But, um... Oh! The child! Genevieve is about to give birth. She's going to have contractions for a few hours before delivering a baby. The labor may go through several stages of different levels of difficulty and danger. To prove the baby's chances, gather a doctor and others to help with the birth. Select Genevieve and press gather for, gather for birth. Get her a proper room, and then we'll do the gather for birth stuff. All right, <laughs> everyone, wake up! It's time for birth. Thanks, thanks, Diva. That's exactly what we need to talk about is tall people. Attending child. Well, I hope she's attending childbirth. Went from debilitating to intense. That's good, right? Well, practicing. <laughs> All right. So, just say you're staring at Genevieve, blink just blinking. Final stages. Oh, I, I didn't notice there was a progress. I didn't know there was a. I didn't notice there was a progress bar for this baby. The baby's got a progress bar. <laughs> but, just don't just leave it on the floor. <laughs> healthy childbirth. Genevieve gave birth to a healthy baby. Childbirth total. Childbirth total quality was 77%. Determined by these factors. Genevieve's age, lady's med medicine skill, loved one present, indoors. The chance of a healthy birth of this quality was 89%. The baby has been given the temporary name Baby Tarsier. <laughs> it can change it until one day after birth. Baby's incapacitated. <laughs> baby's got no sh man. This baby sucks. No shooting. No social. No melee. What a. It's a baseliner too, so it's not a genie. It's not a genie like uh, Genevieve, which could be good or bad. Hmm. Well, child has been formed. Baby has been made. And they're all just like, let's go to fuck back to bed. Fuck this shit. Babies can't walk and must be taken care of. In the work tab, assign someone to child care. You can use the baby's feeding tab to assign specific people to feed the baby. Alternatively, colonists assigned to child care will feed babies food they can eat, such as baby food, milk, and sick jelly. Babies come children at age three. By default, babies age four times faster than adults. You can adjust this in storyteller challenge settings. 
Okay. Um, perhaps we should make some baby food. Where's the baby food? We'll start with this. I don't know how much baby food you even really need. No, no, cook the baby. Oh, well, Jenna, we just had a baby just got formed. It's a, a tiny baby. I don't know what to name it, or them, rather. Banish, do not banish the baby. Uh, rename person, mother, Genevieve, Myers, and father. Uh, probably Hawk, considering um, father. Uh, first name baby baby first name baby last name baby <laughs> baby 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 <laughs> baby is born um <clears throat> hmm i don't know what to name this child Dreamy. Let's let's rain, randomize Trout. <laughs> Your name is Trout. <laughs> How am Babby for? I don't know. Ask Genevieve. Like she and um, Huntsman like made a couple, and then like the very first night, it seemed like she just got just knocked up immediately. Babby child. Um, uh, first name's, what's, White, Bean, Hawk. <laughs> His title is Newborn, White, Bean, Hawk. <laughs> Babby Child, that would be pretty funny though. If there's another child, then we can name it something fun, also funny. Babby. Baby made. Okay, these can go back to B. Well, I'll probably replace these beds because these are not very good beds for healing purposes. What is everyone doing? Okay, you're making you're making the 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 fine meals that everyone eats on the daily basis. And I think after that, gonna you're gonna make some uh, babby food. Vegetarian baby food. My baby needs to eat meat. Mm, I should probably include uh, baby food in this. Yeah, I should probably include baby food in this uh, deal here. Oh. Breastfeeding, right. Well, that's fine. We got baby food in the event that it's a dire need. Okay, another uh, 1.8 days. We'll have a third of Woodmaker Dryad. And if we can keep the, the condition here up, um, Rick and uh, Olabar will we can have four Dryads. Which is just so much wood. Okay, we got this closed up. Postpartum exhaustion. General after effects of giving birth. This mother needs some time to physically recover. Mm -hmm. uh, she's lucky this isn't America. She'd be going right back to fucking work. 
Bean was born healthy. <laughs> my baby brings me so much joy. I would move earth and sky for my little one. Good for you. Go stay the fuck to sleep. Okay. Space Marika. And that's how some people treat this game. It's just Space America. Research, don't care. Huntsman, you got some... What's your... What What gear of yours is t tattered? Oh, that. Space Erica. Okay, you're gonna go eat some fine meals. At some point, she's gonna get a uh, bionic right arm. Cause, or right leg rather, rather, cause that would not only get rid of her her uh, her scar there, which will get rid of any pain she has, but it'd just be nice to give her some something nice, like that. We got this fucking monstrosity of a. <laughs> I don't know what this is even supposed to be. A nightmare. Pain. Uh, I don't think we need that much more. I don't think we need more baby food. As it is, um... As it is, um... Genevieve was, uh... Feet, urgent, child care. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you're just kind of wandering around. How about you play with your child? <laughs> just throw it on the floor. Mental state giggling. <laughs> Very entertain. Bawa, bawa, baguma. <laughs> parents are happy. Translation: I'm happy when my parents are happy. <laughs> Wanu gaga -ga <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I love. I love how silly that is. Breastfeed. My baby giggling. My child Bean is happy. How about you? Are you getting good mood boosts? Oh yeah, you get a nice mood bo mood boost from that. I mean, that's probably not the only reason to have a child in this game, but that's cool. And I can only imagine how awful it's gonna be if this kid gets like just just killed in a raid. That would be terrible. Like, absolutely terrible. Um, let's not think about that. Bean, <laughs> it's just a little small square over here. Um, man, Holbar is just going ham on this tree. Uh, what are you, you're gonna go play billiards. You're like, I'm out of shit to do. Can you make blocks? Can you make blocks? I mean, they sure they could, but... Mm. Yeah, I need blocks made. And Olabar is busy with this situation. So let me go ahead, go to crafting. Uh, let's put you on four, since you're going to... Let Diva do that. She's not good at crafting in the slightest, but that's fine because it doesn't matter. You're supposed to be dropping these on the floor, but they keep just taking them places. Which, I mean, I guess it's fine. It's just kind of annoying.
or so. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I'm going to make this a bigger room so that we can have another set of chairs there. So let's get rid of four of these walls. Uh, C, 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 and C. Uh, reinstall. I normally can't move these walls like this, but I have a mod that lets me do that because you can do it with like fucking everything else almost. So I'm like, why not? If I spend the resources to make the damn walls, let me move them. <laughs> Cargo pods, what we got? Got some yayo. <clears throat> this is basically cocaine. Which we can make this stuff if we so chose. power situation and I just move some stuff around and I've wanted to kind of do something like this for a while but Hadn't really gotten, had, hadn't really gotten to it. Feed the child. Figure we'll have Jenny here um, breastfeed until she cannot. Sleep Bean. Why don't you do that and then you do like the this stuff? Because getting people to do anything is like pulling teeth in this fucking game. They want to do everything except for what you need them to do. There we go. And now... Let's get some marble tiles put in here. And then we'll get some more of these wooden stools. And we could upgrade these wooden stools to like nicer chairs. But there's not really any reason to. They don't spend much time sitting down eating. So it's not as important as some other things. Bean.
I'm surprised any plants are still alive. Because <laughs> it's most certainly like almost winter. All right. It's, it's at 85% and it takes a lot less time to kind of maintain that now that it's up there. Which means all of our can now just cut a bunch of stone blocks. Okay, cargo pods, I think we went and grabbed that. Or, yeah, we definitely did, okay. Well, let's kind of scoop out some more rocks. How about you just haul? So if anyone's just kind of got some downtime. Did you build all that? How about you just hold off until Olabar gets you a few more bro Brocks, yes. <laughs> everyone's favorite everyone's favorite gym leader, the Brocks. Use your frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> it's so absurd that that's something they actually made that fucking character say. <laughs> I suppose it's fine if you go grab some blocks with everyone else. How is little bean doing? Looking just fine. Wah 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 ga. This crib is comfy. <laughs> yeah, four kids. Yeah, fucking four kids. We really. I'm sure this baby knows what a heater is. We really need some heaters. <laughs> fucking silly. Uh, you gonna finish that anytime soon, Diva? Please and thank you. Oh, a bar. Finish making these blocks and then go eat some food, you fool. Travelers nearby. Go eat some food. He's like, I'm upset. Now I'm gonna smoke some weed. <laughs> Here it goes. He's like just high as fuck gonna go pick up some rocks. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly why. Yeah, that's exactly why I did that. <laughs> we have the infrastructure to support that. Well, not every two days. <laughs> okay, they're doing their research thing. Okay, don't need these plans anymore because this is all built. Let's go ahead and start making this uh, that. Sleep time. Don't get full. Don't get too. Um, I really would like another girl donkey at some. Hopefully, this next one that 
is gonna pop out some point will be a girl so we can have two breeding at the same time winter has begun of course it has Should keep start heating this place up for beans little needs. Hopefully. Target temperature of fifteen, let's raise that by five. Yeah, we need a few more of these. We're not, we're not getting I don't think we're getting full batteries again by the time the, uh, uh, maybe, but it's probably smart to get a few more of these anyway. some but I think that might be where it starts getting to be overhead in mountains so I don't want to dig in there not quite at some point we're gonna have to we're gonna need to start beelining our research to like the uh, underground mineral scanner so that we can well get minerals from underground instead of from the walls um, yeah this looks Doable enough. Where you can go mine. Got some muffalo here. Diva reach ten construction. Nice. Where are you, Diva? Up here. Oh, yeah, you're working on this big fucking thing. How warm is in this room? It gets pretty toasty in here. Sh shooting star. Shooting star just crossed the sky, followed by a distant rumbling. What could it be that just fell out of the sky? Um, let's find out. What do we have? A crash site, huh? The approximate space a place a spaceship came down. Oh, it's a little far, and it's also winter. What is? Oh, that's not our house. I was like, what is this? But yeah. What are you doing? Oh, oh, you need to go drink your psychite tea, probably. Hmm. I probably should. Uh, extend change this uh, assignment thing to do it every five days I'll let her do it now but then after that I'll change it to every five days for her because because of her psychite de dependency she needs uh five days she every five days she needs it or she'll start uh, having a bad mood you could technically get away with doing it every 30 days and then just get her into a coma, but eh. It's preferable to keep your people happy most of the time. So let's go to a sign, go to Diva Drugs and Psychite T prescription. What is this? 
recreation. Oh, yeah, let's turn it off. <coughs> Every five days, she can have one. That will that'll greatly extend out our supply of that, but honestly, we go through it so slowly anyway, but it also lets other people use it too instead of just her. So, yeah, it's fine. Okay, and then she'll continue building this. It's almost done. Yeah, this thing now puts a lot of power. And what I could do is I could turn this area back here into a uh, sun lamp powered uh, greenhouse. Hmm, that might be a good idea, but mm. otherwise this is just kind of sitting here. Sun lamp takes can cover this kind of area with enough light to grow things indoors. And if you combine it with uh, these um, hydroponics basins, you can get like tremendously fast growing crops year round if you're wise enough with it. Hmm. Let's see, can I see how much power this draws? 2,900 watts. <clears throat> but I ha if I have this on its own grid with just this, I feel like that would be good enough. I can still have this here in case I need the power, but... Let's do something like that. Oh damn, lady d did not waste any time getting this stuff taken care of. Jeez. She's very quick at the whole mining thing. How's Bean doing? Feeding it, the bean feeds. <laughs> Lacritora. Well, it's only it's not gonna do us any good if it's outdoors. So we need to, uh, we can just, um, I think we can just cover this with roofs. I think we technically can just cover this with a roof. Although I think it's six by fuck. That's just enough, like just not enough space <laughs> for it to properly be roofed in. Although maybe this way it is. Let's count that way. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Let's 
Okay, so I think a roof should still be supported this way, but not this way. But I think since it's this way, it would be good enough. Hey, Olabar, I got I got something for you to do. <laughs> yep, and this will just kind of keep this. How how warm is this room? Zero degrees. How warm is this one? Forty-four. We could probably vent the heat coming from this room into here, and that would solve any heat problems we have with this room. So let's do that, actually. Because if it's too cold, your plants will just die anyway. Oh, shit. Damn it, I should have... I, I need to do an overwall one. Although, frankly, this works out better anyway, so maybe I should just... Oh, yeah, it's, that's fine. If anything, we can do like that. Okay, it's nighttime, so it will... Uh... We're slowly but surely recovering our power, but I think we need to get a few more of these. Let's start with two. This is our main power grid that runs everything else. Well, for the sake of... I mean, it doesn't really matter. This baby's doing just fine. I can't imagine what a baby's me mental break would be, but... Looks like we need to cut up a few more critters. Because I, I don't see too many more... Uh... Hold on a sec. All right, I gotta go help someone with something real quick. Uh, it shouldn't be too much, too very long, so I'm just gonna leave the stream going and with the music and all that. So I will be right back.
I have returned. What was I doing? <laughs> Child. Head is way bigger than its body. Or way smaller. I don't know what words are. Donkey one has given birth. Finally. Happy birthday, donkey full three. <laughs> Right, this should be warm enough to getting some <clears throat> hydroponics basins. I'm sure there's some way to like set these up where like you can fit a, a certain amount of these things perfectly around one of these. I might look up look that up because I'm almost certain there's probably a, uh, a setting for that. Let me. I'm gonna look into that. Uh, let's see. Rim world sun lamp. Hydroponics layout. Let's look at some of these pictures. See, I I thought there was some something like this. Okay, that's a that's that's entirely acceptable. <clears throat> How much power does this take? Um, 70. That takes 2,900, so. I can have like 10 of these supported by this one generator here. 
So that takes 2,900. Yeah, you see there's like 700 grid excess we could have. And that'll be like some semi-permanent food we can just have. Extra growing stuff. Frank, I'm gonna deconstruct that one's not gonna do us any good having this one. Yeah, we can just plant all kinds of things in here. Let's see. Rice is generally the best thing to grow. It seems like all uh, plants are based off of rice in some way, because rice has like three. The rice has like. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and SXX3 on TV. <laughs> XXX3 on TV. On which we used to eat. You woo. <laughs> God, that was almost indecipherable, and I speak uwu, so. Yeah, it's a good thing I started doing this stuff, because, um... We're starting to run a little low on, uh... Vegetals. Damn donkey one, you do not they do not wait they're not wasting any time with the whole uh you know thing. <laughs> what are you wearing? Take that take that thing fucking off. Just like willfully wearing like tattered clothing and they're getting upset about it.
It's nice and it's decently warm in here. Although it's really cold outside. Heck. I, the child, I can hear him. <laughs> uh, let's get a heater in here. We'll, we'll have it on this power grid. We're gonna just place down some more of these real quick to make sure I can uh, spot. It's like right here is where I can put a heater. Just barely not close enough. Blackcomber's done. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Hmm. What's that? Compact weaponry. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> We're gonna need to get microelectronics before long, but before then, I would like to get a um, gunsmithing so we can make some decent guns. So we can better defend ourselves when we actually get a real raid that's not through my freaking bedroom roof. <laughs> Was Bean doing? Hungry. Feed the child. Mental state crying. Consume. He's beaning great. He's been great. <laughs> Don't shake the baby. Okay, who has our highest social? Is it still you or is... No, it's definitely him. Okay. Okay, Fraser's getting a little light. Okay, I don't think I have anyone assigned it to animal handling, so this donkey that I have set for slaughter has just not been, uh, Bothered you, oh, lady is, but her priorities are a little different. What are you? Oh, you're hauling wood. Uh, how about you uh, do this? That was one of the extra male donkeys we had. <clears throat> we finally have another girl though, so we can have multiple being made at multiple donkeys being made at the same time I 
what are you? You're just kind of hanging out? Okay. What about you, Olivar? He's also hanging out. Is your tree not... Billiards, you're gonna haul some chunks. We're gonna expand this zone a little bit more. So we can just haul have them hauling stuff more often. This like sixteen. Good enough. All right. That way they'll be able to reach this whole entire zone and just nab out the rocks and process them. What do you? What do you mean? What do you? Oh, we're missing steel? Okay, well. Turkey. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, sneaky boy? A little fluffy man. Just doing his little screaming. He's doing his daily screaming. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of construction stuff that needs steel lately, so we're a little short on it. But that will definitely give Lady something to do, because she is our miner. Yep, she's immediately going to go get some more. And this walk bullshit. You don't need that. Still got like another feeding or two before she's out of milk. <laughs> Them's the breaks. Sometimes you just run out of milk. <laughs> Off into the sun. Oh. Yeah, how about you go uh, stop being unhappy there, friend? Have you go hunt a little bit? I know there's some muffalo over here. There's also a boar.
Oh, this fucking, this fucking bear is gonna be a problem, isn't it? We're about to have to do some, uh, do some shenanigans with this bear. Just need to make sure everyone else is, like, indoors. Kind of at an awkward angle. And it's about to be ang it's our it's angry. Yeah, this bear does not fucking give a shit. It's gonna probably break that door, honestly. Oh, not quite, okay. have you repair the door while I do fun things. <laughs> no, you bought $50 with the Pokemon cards at GameStop so you could get the special LeChonk. No, you! That was definitely you. See if maybe I can lure the bear uh, down here instead to this door and then alternate doors. The code for the Switch game was free, but to get the card you had to spend $15 on. Oh, what Switch game did you get? Shots. That's un that's un that's unlike you, Huntsman. You get back in there and away from the bear. Okay, the bear's like, eh, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, better better fucking get inside. That bear's on your gonna be on your ass. Don't, don't go that way, you fool. Bear should be coming up this way. We should be able to shoot it pretty, pretty handily. I 
don't know what your this bear is doing. Is it just running away? I mean, it's not looking so hot. Move 50%? Okay, we can probably just kill it at this point. I don't need to pop in and out of the doors anymore. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Jedi. Thanks for the raid. We are playing the Rim World and we are shooting bear because it is too close to my base and it makes me uncomfortable. All right, cool. Well, that's one less predator on the map. Uh, let's see, what? Uh, oh, there's no currently no other predators on the map. That's nice. They got really cold and the uh, other stuff just left. Puppers. We shall, we shall arm ourselves and we shall march bravely into battle together. And we shall conquer our Yeah, he did it right. We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall fight them in the nether streets. We will fight them in the end, surrounded by the ender dragon and the portal tower thingies that keep him alive until we destroy them all with arrows and exploded potions. And then we kill the ender dragon and we end the game and get the end credits <laughs> and we keep on playing because the game never really ends. And we shall be friends forevermore. Join me, my friends. Okay. <laughs> Excellent speech, Jedi. <laughs> Let's see. Well, since there's no other predators in the map, we can kind of just have free reign to kind of sound like Obi Wan. <laughs> we have kind of free reign to um. Let people out of whatever weirdness they were doing. Okay, Olabar is playing with this trio here, so it's fine. Okay, that muffalo is gonna come after us, so let's retreat a little bit. Let it kind of bleed out a little. <clears throat> did did you end up starving? <laughs> I know y'all were talking about the uh, swamp whenever I had to kind of cut out to uh, start streaming this. When you get too close, I'm going to get you. Get got. <clears throat> Alright, let's go get this other one too. This would be a lot of food for us. So since now we're doing hydroponics inside, so we can get uh, rice year round. Where you going? Where you going, Muffalo? Are you like bleeding out more or is it gonna slow down and go away? Okay, it's gonna slow down and go away, so let's give chase. Cautiously, because it's kind of a, like a weird angle.
it's angry. It's probably slowed down enough to where we're fine, but I would rather not deal with. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, let's let's get in here and let it kind of bleed out a little bit more for a while. Okay, it it, it gave up because it couldn't really sense us anymore. So we'll just wait for it to uh, be a little further away than where it is, and then we'll pop out, blast it a little bit more. Like right now, and then we'll run back inside. And then we'll do it again. Whatever. I mean, it's gonna bleed out pretty soon anyway, but. Ooh, level 12 shooting. More power. Yeah, this thing got roughed up pretty bad. We'll put it out of its misery. Not gonna let prolong the suffering. Oh, is our animal storage area full? Oh, Jesus, it is. <laughs> There's just a lot of animals in here. Um, for now, we'll expand this by one spot, but we're gonna probably expand this fridge area some more we'll end up adding another uh, freezer as well dead and this one is too warm clothes yeah whatever it's fine he's <laughs> dude's high on dude's high on smoke leaf just carrying rocks around in the fucking cold <laughs> boop pog <laughs> Perhaps you should get some uh, warmer gear there, my friend. He's a little cold. And he's also high. I might need to make another, uh, I might need to make a toque so that he can wear that for warmth. You're not the real bean. You're not my real dad. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's a plain leather tail cap. I can make another one of those. We have a good amount of the stuff. Yeah, we'll make another tail cap. It's fine. Hey Jenny, you want to work on that? I know you're I know you research, but you're also like the best crafter we got, so. Oh yeah, we have a baby. It's named Bean. <laughs> He's named Bean rather. It's Genevieve and Huntsman's child. That's all of our get you are gonna fucking you're gonna get you're gonna lose like a toe or something go in here uh where did that tail cap just go did you just put it on oh you did because it's excellent and it's also got um 
9.6 insulation, although I'm pretty sure toques are probably better. But that is actually like a 20% boost installation insulation by being excellent instead of just normal. But that's also more than good enough. Uh, no, you're just going to go in here. I'll have a uh, huntsman r repair, mend some stuff. Um, what were you even doing? I don't know what he was even up to. He was just like kind of running out in the wood in the forest. Oh, I think we have have a toque in here. That's uh, uh, insulation's only slightly better. Well, it's also a poor quality one. So. Oh, this is too, so they're pretty comparable, maybe. No, this is, it's worse, but cowboy hat's um, not exactly good for um, cold insulation. But it's better than you expect. Uh, Olabar, he's sitting in here defrosting because he's got hypothermia. He's about to just run around in the cold and tell who knows what happened. Because you have to babysit these fuckers. Like, well, babies. <laughs> like Bean. Alright, put this on. Now you can look like a, a, a deranged Davy Crockett with a Gladius. <laughs> he's just, he's gonna get you. He's gonna go to bed. What he's gonna fucking do. Did we use up all the steel somewhere? Also, what? Oh. I was like, what is going on there? Um, I have a feeling that we've uh, used up a lot of steel and... There's some more here. I don't know where we used it all up. I know we this took a lot, but what else did? Probably this stuff, I guess. Okay, so as long as I as <clears throat> as long as um, as long as she keeps breastfeeding, she'll still make more milk. So it just means that. Okay, I see it, it recovers. Okay, well that's convenient. I'm not gonna need this baby food then, or maybe I will eventually, but. I don't know if that's how it exactly works in real life. I'm pretty sure there's only a set amount of uh, milk, <laughs> but... Yeah, we gotta get this taken care of. Like... These aren't able to really grow very well in here because it's very cold. The only reason this is not my, more negative is because this thing generates quite a bit of heat and we kind of linked the rooms together. Although it looks like this tiny room here is kind of absorbing some of the heat, so maybe we should, uh, 
hold this door open to let some of that in here too. Oh, gunsmithing's done. Let's uh, what's next? Blow back operation. Um, probably. Oh, let us get a semi-automatic rifle, which is pretty cool. And then gas operation, which is like machine guns and gun turrets. And then we get precision rifling for like a sniper rifle, which would be really handy for specific situations. Uh, well, we kind of have to start with a blowback first, so let's get that. Some sort of psychic whiff has swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems that men, it seems many of the raccoons in the area have been driven insane. Well, thankfully there's only like one raccoon that this affected, because they're a little a little rascally. Where was Diva doing? Going inside. What a coincidence. Um You're gonna go inside too, because I don't really want that raccoon hurting anyone. Oh! Oh! There was more than. Oh shit! There's more. There's multiple raccoons! Well, that's not great. Um. She is getting clawed the fuck up. Little bastards. Well, that's unfortunate. She's probably not going to die, but it's just going to be annoying that she's going to be out of commission. Where's Olabar? Oh, where else would Olabar be? Yeah, she's probably going to get knocked down pretty soon. Oh, another one of these. We already have one, but... And she gained a melee skill. I mean, it's good practice, I guess, but yeah, I figured that was going to happen and she needs to get tended, like taken care of immediately. Huh, I guess there was more than one racco raccoon that was, uh, God, I wish you weren't so slow, dude. Um... Cause I really need to have her not, she really needs to like not, you know, not be dead. That'd be great. Um, well, shit. What are you up to? Where are you? Beat this raccoon's ass. There you go. Good job. Good job, you. And you uh, rescue Lady and tend her, because you're our next best uh, medical person. Okay, hopefully we can get there in time to stop deathly bleeding, because, yeah, those raccoons were kind of on her real quick. Yeah, she's probably going to be fine. She's just going to be out of commission for a little bit.
Uh, let's not have you do that. Uh, plants. How about no? I said no. Okay, it's not plant cut, is it grow? It's gotta be. How about no? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Ulibar gets a, um, gets like 8% more stuff by just picking the plants, so he's the one we want doing that. Okay, well, well that was unfortunate. I didn't, I was like, oh, I only see like one raccoon that's kind of mad. And then, I guess in truth, there are like four of them. What the hell killed this one? It, I don't think it was the trap. The trap's still there. Did it just give up? <laughs> it's just like, hmm, I'm done being mad. I am no longer mad. Well, on the bright side, um... Oh! Oh no! Oh, they're putting out the fire! I didn't know they would do that. Interesting. The hell even happened? You have no designated... You have designated some rocks to be mined, but no colonist says the mining work type. God damn raccoons. Well, lady's not... Lady can move again. She's gonna go smoke some weed. <laughs> She's going. She's going for it. Just nothing but bandages holding her together. She's gonna go smoke some weed. <laughs> she smoked herself into passing... <laughs> Yeah, she, she, she's like, oh, that sounds really good. She's like, that sounds really awesome. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna partake, and then she just fucking passed the fuck out because her consciousness dropped below a certain amount because of the <laughs> smoke leaf. <laughs> the funny thing is, I, the funniest shit is, I've had something like this happen when I had just like one character, like they just like. They were already in pain, so they did that, and then they passed out, and then eventually just died. And it was really funny, but... <laughs> oh, where's... Oh. How about you take... How about you take Lady back to her, her bed, please? Please and thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's just like, ugh, worth it. Fuck's sakes. Oh, she, she fucking better be. Probably didn't feel, feel, probably didn't feel her head smash against the freaking ground. Then again, it was kind of in the dirt, so maybe it, it's probably fine. <clears throat> and, oh wow, we got a, we got quite a few granite blocks now, so I can kind of plan how I want to do this situation, because... Let's kind of get these plants out of the way. Oh, Olabar will do that eventually. <laughs> oh, the joys of fucking Rimworld. 
Uh, let's look at our power. Oh, these are all connected up. They're just not um, planted yet. Oh, lady got lady got an infection from her goddamn raccoon wounds. Um, that could be a little problematic. Let's uh, best quality medicine, and, and we're just gonna have to have uh, Olabar do his best. His medical is all right, but it's not that great. But it might be enough to keep her alive. She's the norm. She's normally the doctor. <clears throat> There were people here. I had no idea anyone was even here. Um, can we catch them? No, nah, they're they're way too far gone. Nah, they're far. No wait. God damn it, lady. <laughs> she can. Uh, yeah, just um, just do that there. It's fine. I did, I did spring to use our, our one thing of, like, industrial medicine on her infection, because she's very important to have, um, in, like, healthiness or whatever. Words. Let's keep it nice and clean in here, too, if possible. <clears throat> Bar is getting all a bunch of bunch of nice rice for us, and then he'll start just replanting all these. A psychic drone. Well, that's gonna make the the boys in the colony a little more annoyed. Kind of annoyed that I missed seeing that, because that would have been nice to kind of see what they have, because we just have not really had a trader in a while. <clears throat> Visiting grave. Yeah, I'm sure he'll come back and plant the rest. Frankly, guys, it's just a, to corn. It'll take a while to grow, but then that's fine. Get the slab food, and in the meantime, we'll have these. Although during the when during the spring, we could probably just turn these off and have this as like extra power or something. Cause yeah, they won't really need these. Yeah, we need to monitor her infection because it's in her uh, it's in her torso. That's not a good place to have an infection. Uh, she's gaining. The immunity stuff quicker than the infections going up. So that's good. And Olbar's like, okay, back to the tree. The most important thing. The f fuck? Uh oh! Well, that's unfortunate. This boom rat just like wasted away. Must have got stuck in here at some point and then just like died <laughs> well I feel a little bad about that but I didn't really do anything to cause that um all right <clears throat> sometimes it just happens a little late intellectual nice more wood because these things just shit out wood And then an another two days, we'll have a fourth woodmaker dryad, which means we'll get like uh, like 128 wood every two days. We haven't had a raid in a while, so we haven't really used a lot of the wood because we use that for these traps here. <clears throat> Lady, what are you doing? Get back in bed, you fuck. Go, go, go. What are you even doing? <sighs> Baka. Fucking Baka. Go to sleep. <sighs> you know what? No. Cancel. If you're gonna just get out of bed, 
mm-hmm. whenever you just feel like it to, to go mining when you when you're literally nothing but a walking bandit babaka <laughs> a walking bandage factory leave the tree alone Uh, that 10 quality was significantly worse, but there's enough of a lead where it's probably going to be fine. I just got to keep on top of that and... Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, perhaps we should make some, like, plate armor or something for, I want to say, like, although flock armor is probably overall more worth it to make for going forward, but plate armor would make one of, someone a fucking tank. <clears throat> Layer, middle, outer, covers torso, neck, left shoulder, left arm, right shoulder, right arm, left leg, right leg. Yeah, that would basically cover everything, but it also, like, lowers your move speed significantly, which is not ideal, but, mm. Let's look at this hammer. <clears throat> oh, it makes you construct buildings faster. Interesting. I think that's, yeah, that's a modded item. That's okay. Uh, what's its DPS? Six point, nah. Yeah, because Lady is a um, melee fighter, which is the only way she's able to actually really fight off one of those raccoons, but she's not very good at it, because I usually keep her out of harm's way on purpose, because she is our medic. So it's just kind of like a interesting quandary to deal with. Okay, Bean is 33 days old, because babies grow at four times the rate. Probably just to, for, to make things not as annoying to deal with, of having to deal with a baby. In the middle of, like, a frickin' firefight. <laughs> Just the sound of opening and closing doors constantly. How's your infection there, lady? <laughs> Um, it's still ahead. That's good. Even despite the kind of subpar 10 quality. Oh, the baby has affected by the psychic drone. It's like a scratching at the back of my mind, a voice whispering. I can only make out a few words and I don't like them. This baby's just laying here getting blasted by psychic waves of, of little voices being like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> You're just complaining the baby was crying? Yeah. That shrill wailing sound is so irritating. It's fine, Bean. It's fine. Yeah, 
Hail bar. Can I get you to do this first? And this too. Before you just play with the freaking gar garland tree or whatever, Garanland tree. Oh. I was wondering why you're only picking up literally like three wood. That's annoying. Just pick all of it up. That's silly. <clears throat> We're probably gonna reorganize this stuff a little bit. Um, What are you complaining about? Be sick? Well, yeah, okay. I'm a fool. Olabar has an ability that makes stuff heal faster. Not council, I think it's a uh, preach health. Yeah. That'll help for the, the, the raccoon wounds. What are you doing? Oh, you actually can do medical too, okay. That's not bad. I, mean, I think she's about to be immune anyway. Yeah. So she's just gonna rest until everything's gone. And that should help things recover a bit quicker. Which is nice. Then she can go back to mining stuff and whatever else we end up needing. Someone's gonna eventually get to doing this, maybe, probably. Yep, all right, uh, let's look at this. Uh, critical, important, important, okay. I have the, the, the one closest to this set as um, the most important one. Because we're, we're going to want to like double or triple layer or surround the freezer to keep it nice and insulated. That's kind of what we're wanting to go with. And then we're going to make it bigger. Bigger than before. <laughs> and I can have like this nook over here just strictly for the, for cutting up aminals. You know, as you do. But I gotta get, let's uh, expand the zone there by three and shrink it by three here. And hopefully people come and scoop up <laughs> these corpses and move them around. There we go. So now I can uh, What's going on here? I think it has the same settings as these, probably. Although I'm kind of tempted to have it have the same settings as this. 
which means they should move them. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be also be for food. Okay, let's move that and move that. Colonists. Oh, they're getting married. <laughs> right next to Lemur's tomb. Uh, Lemur's uh, casket. Uh, everyone else is gathering. Except for the the two getting married. Go get married! Fuckers. Someone get the baby. Lady, Even Lady's coming. Go get the baby. No, I... I guess the baby doesn't need to see the marriage, it's fine. <laughs> Intense eye contact. No, just having a good time. Crazy swans. Computer technology. Training ravens. Xeno humans. Horseshoes, fiends, the weather, and something else. Heel root. The marriage ceremony is over. They're like all, they're like, oh, fucking hungry. <laughs> Wedding reception sucked shit. They didn't even have any food. <laughs> You may have missed the mar you may have missed the marriage ceremony, Bean, but that's okay. You didn't miss much. They were just kind of staring at each other for a while. No, you're not. In f you're not. You're you're getting your immunity, so you can kind of just do whatever, I guess. But I don't want, I really don't want her going outside. I need to replace these beds. I don't think they're quite as good at like immunity gain factor and stuff as like maybe this one. Like, let me see this one. Oh, this one's a work of art. Purple porcupine. <laughs> This furniture is engraved with the representation of a murderous abstract sheep. The work seems to symbolize lonesomeness. Perfect place to give birth to Bean, I guess. Question mark? I don't know. Uh, I was going to look at the... Immunity gain factor speed is 107. What about this one? It is slightly faster in this other bed. But in the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't matter that much. I'll have this area over here be strictly for, um, like strictly for what you call them, uh, we'll start with this and then we'll kind of move stuff around as necessary. Three, because we'll have these four move at some point. Two, this five rather, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can do that and then we'll just move the rest of these when it's time to actually 
put stuff in place. Okay, Diva, don't lock yourself in there now. They do that sometimes, because they'll just be building shit without really thinking too hard about it. Operation, okay. Um, let's get gas operation and then we can get uh, precision rifling. And then we can make a sniper rifle and we can hunt animals with a sniper rifle. <laughs> Just as God intended. Um, I gotta think about this a little bit more. Um, scary thought, I know. Me thinking at all is pretty unheard of. Uh, let's, so let's move you there. Move you there. trapped <laughs> wait what am I doing I could just I'm a I'm a one I'm a fool two I'm a grade a fool cuz well Those are good builds. Harvest this damn tree, old bar. Harvest the damn stump, old bar. Inspire creativity. So she has high, pretty high crafting and like pretty high construction. She can make something really, really good out of that. Like, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe a really good weapon or something. So hopefully we can get to the point where we can make a nice weapon soon. Okay. Try to think a little harder about my building stuff that I'm doing, cause like I'm not doing it very smartly at all. Stop. Ah, gotta move these, of course. Um, how about you go? No. Uh, you go here. Fine. Uninstall first. Wait, that's the wall light. No wonder it wasn't one to fucking work. Um, uninstall that now, <laughs> since I can't apparently click the correct thing. Fine, ladies doing that. 
Whatever. No, don't put it. Don't put that back. Put that back. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No. Stop it. <laughs> She's like, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Doesn't even look like there's anything there. It's because this wall light is just good. One, two, three, four. I think I had it in the wrong spot anyway for some reason. Uh, so that's how we let's put it there. Yeah, we gotta very quickly get these uh, back in operational form. Hans is like, well, that's no fun. Stop. Put the damn thing down. Somebody drag one back to the fucking storeroom already. Damn it, Callie. You're too good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> he just nabbed the damn thing before I could even catch it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it's a good problem to have, having a very efficient uh, <laughs> person for that stuff. Words. I don't know what those are. Uh, probably going to insulate this, these walls, too. So this stuff will probably move out a little bit and flip. We're getting a lot more storage space out of it though for stuff and it'll keep everything nice and insulated throughout the year. Damn it, I... Diva, can you can you unfuck my mistake, please? Pretty please. Oh, lady's fully healed. Okay, so now I need to remove the roof from in here because that's where all the um, that's where all the air is gonna go from inside here to keep it cool. Uh, let's build roof here. Why don't you do that real quick? Okay. Then reinstall that before you get too far, Diva, because you'll just have to run back, because I'm just going to force you to. All right. Get it nice and below zero again.
did you just go to fucking god damn it went to bed like put the put the stuff in there and then went to bed immediately build the build it please <laughs> god damn it <laughs> scuffed ass all right Now I can um, expand this zone to be like all of this. Shrink the zone to not include this and that, and then feed the baby. Clean up some wires. I guess that explains why she has like weird times for uh, being awake sometimes. They just grabbing all these dead animals and I'm just dragging them to the spot. All right. Sure, all the bar will go do it eventually. Yep, there he goes. Okay, more wood. Let's continue sealing that in. Now, it'll slow, it'll slow down this cooking process a teensy bit, but not enough that I really care about. Because Huntsman is very good at cooking. I think that's probably the highest cooking I've ever had on a character that didn't start with, like, really high, because... He's duck cooked a lot of food. <laughs> Ooh, level 11 construction. Good, good milestone. Donkey one has given birth. It's not you, it's you, isn't it? Uh, it's another Goral. We got like three Goral donkeys now. When they're adults, we're gonna be like squirting out donkeys all over the place. Um, I don't know if, <laughs> that's like the worst way to possibly think. I don't know if male donkeys have a cooldown. Oh God. Of Super Mario Brothers 2 <laughs> with free access through Nintendo Switch Online featuring unlimited playtime up until the finale, including the award-winning Wart Boss fight. Join Subcon today. Yeah, I mean, have you heard of Super Mario Brothers 2? In case in case you've been in a coma for the last like 30 years, that's that's a pretty good game. All 
right. <laughs> that was a Super Mario Brothers 2 reference. Subcon. Yeah, I played a lot of that. I played a good amount of that as a kid because I had the uh, the SNES uh, Mario All Stars thing. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I had the NES. No, I don't know, think I had access to the NES version. Let's see. One goes. Yeah, I gotta move these over a little bit. Yeah, these are like backup shelves for, um... For food. Because we got these ones that hold food, but then we got backup ones, so we just have a lot of food. Just holding on to that pemkin in case of a emergency. Wait, what am I? I don't know if I use my brain properly there at all. Uh, we can move this shelf down here. Yeah, we'll move that down one there. Let's flip this one and then reverse it. Flip it, reverse it, you know? You gotta do that. Just insulating this entire thing. Insulating the entire freezer so that cold stays in and warm stays out, but also cold doesn't get out. There we go. Nice. It's hideous in here, but we got lots of storage for food. 
like these main places for food and then these are backup places for food and it's just lots of food I'm going to temporarily do this and then move this wall back. There we go. That's frankly about as good as I can really get it without extending it further, but. Hmm. Hmm. I am eyeballing you with interest there, Mega Sloth. <laughs> cold outside no we are you already have one of those stop you have one you don't need more at least not right now we got bean here 48 days old I think that's his, uh, is that 46 or 48 oh our child is bisexual I'm glad we can just tell that <laughs> from birth. <laughs> Bisexual but from birth. <laughs> I guess if you do like genetics like the little Punnett squares or whatever, I guess that would make sense. Both parents being bisexual probably would make that a little more likely. Because I'm sure it's got something to do with genetics, you know. Red Chief of the Grey, Grey Mule Branya. Has informed us that his faction has a hunting lodge near our outpost. The lodge is already outfitted with the facilities to sleep, butcher animals, and cook the meat. Usually there is a group of, of Quincanas gathering there at this time of the year. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna go bother those fucking murder crocodiles. Without good reason, and currently there is not a real good reason. sure we got that thing I think we have like a few extra of those seeds yeah yeah we got two seeds for this uh, tree and even though this tree dies we can replant it and kind of start over again which would suck because this thing's taking a while to get going it doesn't even give that many uh how much wood We get we get more wood every two days from these than we do would get from you know cutting Let 
gonna make another shelf for wood. Let's kind of poke around here and see if I find any other steel veins sticking out of the wall. Oh, that's uranium. That's pretty cool. There's some gold, too. Just kind of zooming around the map here a little bit. Looking for steel. I want to say that there may be like a steel meteorite somewhere, but I'm just not sure. There's another, I've had a few meteorites land, like probably this one right here was a meteorite. Uh, let's look around the map, I guess. What am I doing? There's like a good amount of steel, like not even that far. I wonder if there's some sort of like pickaxe or something I can make to make her mining situation better. Hmm. Safety standards. Oh, that's like clothing specific to some jobs. What was I looking for again? I, I don't even remember. Oh. Like some sort of like... I think there's uh, there's probably like some sort of like weapon I can do like for like work speed. Like maybe this hammer. Uh, construction speed, general labor speed. I mean that's worth it too. Maybe not. Eh, whatever. She mines it pretty fast anyway. She's about to bump up to 12. Let's see. Mining speed, 136. Mining yield, 103. Boop. Um. Eh, a decent speed increase. She's going to just tear through this shit. Keep on keeping on. So like, keep telling me what to do and I'll just do it. How the fuck that happened? Uh oh. We might have a bunch of um We might end up with a bunch of food poisoning somehow. I don't he almost never get this area. My area almost never gets dirty enough to um, be a problem. But that's the first time I've seen food poisoning in a long time.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have him just cut stone blocks while he's got food poisoning, because... Yeah... I mean, kind of sucks a little, but whatever. And if he bombs again and has to start over, I'll probably just have him go research. Turn this off now. This area should be all covered. This is your your. Feels weird saying ex-wife because they didn't get divorced. She's just you know died. It's kind of a weird. Just throw him next to the billiard table. What is this a bar? Oh, yep. We might have to, we're probably gonna go through a bout of food sick, food poisoning for a while. I don't know how something got, it got dirty somewhere, but it, it, I guess it did. Yep, they're all getting sick. I wish you could see what I wish I saw which pile they were grabbing the food from. I'm about to, I'm guess I'm about to find out. Oh, she didn't get sick. Hmm. Might have got lucky though. Or maybe she just grabbed the last meal that was food poison riddled. What are <laughs> what? How is your consciousness not low? Uh, pain? From food poisoning, I guess. And, um... Huh. Well. That's awkward. Uh, is somebody available to, uh, rescue her in her time of need? How about you, um... No... Oh, Diva's doing it. Okay. Just just hang out, okay? Oh, did you do a thing, Majig? Late wife would be more accurate. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, whatever it is you did, I appreciate you for it. Uh, Diva's grabbing some her drink, her drinky. At least that she was. Did she just change her mind? Hmm. I don't know. Alright, let's see if she gets food poisoning. Okay, it must have only been, like, certain... Ooh, okay. It must have only been, like, a few meals that were tainted. Because no one else seems to be getting food poisoning. And he's sleeping through a decent portion of his... Yeah, he slept through a good... The, probably the worst of the food poisoning. <laughs> just full service clean. Just Genevieve's just like... Bah! Dang, that's talented. You threw up from like behind to behind you. That's impressive. Is he fine? He's probably fine. Is it clean in here? Oh no, it's not. That's probably what caused the problem in the first place. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah, I think the food poisoning problem is going to be gone. Just going to stay on top of the whole dirtiness thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's dirt. We should probably uh, cover that up with some floor tiles. Let's see. How about some marble tiles? For now, we'll leave this smooth stone tile because it's probably about as clean as the other tiles we're doing. And I'll give Diva something to do. She's just gonna be here till her food poisoning's not jacked up. Little baby didn't use much of the baby food. I uh, think Callie had to step in and do a uh, feeding since she's incapacitated. <laughs> Transport pod. Oh, we haven't had one of these in a while. Dyer is not affiliated with any faction. A human computer. Excuse me. 66 years old. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a kind of, that's, this is mostly why I tried to avoid a prosthetic heart, though. If we were evil, we could take their heart out and sell it. <laughs> if we wanted to be really evil, but I don't think our colonists would be very uh, happy about that. So, you might end up just kind of staying out here. Yeah. Hmm. Although, those are some nice pants. <laughs> God, that's fucked up. Um, let's uh, get those pants. Lady's like, hello, goodbye. Lady's like, uh, yoink. I care more about these pants. These pants are nice. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty fucked up. I shouldn't have just, like going to their shit and left. Left in the freeze. What are you doing? You still have food poisoning? Yeah, you still do, and you're just like... How about you not? How about you just kind of hang out like in your room or something? Okay, Genevieve is probably recovered from the worst of her food poisoning. Yeah, she's fine now. Yeah, go, just go to sleep. Alright. It's just a waste. It's just like a wasteland of vomit in there. Feed the child. Why don't you clean up your mess? <laughs> Hopefully you don't get sick again, that'd be annoying. Okay. Oh, Olabar, playing with the tree again. Okay, there it's like two on two. I was like, wait, what is going on? Where'd all, I only see two of them. But no, they're just like kind of stacked on each other. <laughs> like like a pile of logs. <laughs> uh, how are the donkeys doing here? We got... That's the... Thir you're 13 now. You're still the baby. Uh, I think this is an adult. Um. Hmm. I, 
have a feeling this one is an adult because this one's getting 196 meat. But if we look at the baby here, which we're not going to bother, uh, the meat amount is much less. So, yeah, I, I believe that you are an adult, which means you're an adult. I mean, you're probably an adult soon, if not already. Yeah, you're still getting there. Um, we'll, we'll keep cycling the uh, the donkeys out. They'll keep they'll keep us a nice steady supply of uh, meat, especially once we can get um, this whole field of hay grass grown. Honestly, we might end up uh, replacing this with. Uh, no, those spaces are. Yeah, the problem is these uh, fertile zones are good for planting stuff like corn or whatever, but out here, yeah, I think we're going to do this as hay grass as well for the coming season. Although this might already be way too much, so perhaps we should just switch this back to corn. <laughs> yeah, because this is going to be a lot of hay grass. As you see, we already have a lot of hay grass, but... Okay, Diva's getting more of them good skill points. Let me see. All right, now it's kind of a matter of time of like getting our research up so that we can um, make some good weapons to defend ourselves. Uh, let me check my Discord. Let me see what we got going on. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let me see when. Checking with my roommate, seeing when they would like to do dinner time. Oh. Let me, there we go. Now I can still see chat, but also see. Um, I can still see chat, but I can also see um, Discord. Keep on, keep, we haven't actually got a real raid in a while. The last one we got was the one the pigs crashed through this fucking ceiling here, which was annoying. I think this donkey is old enough to do the thing that donkeys do. Let us look. Ah, uh, yeah, there's bits of dirt here and there. He's just staring at the art. Sterile in here. It's 
More rice. That's oh, actually a lot of rice. Inspired trade, Callie. Well, that's no, uh, whatever. Tattered apparel, who? What are you wearing, hun? What is it? Let's see. Uh, is it that? Mm, maybe? No, it's this. It's these chaps. Uh, we have any other pants? I could probably have her make some better pants. <laughs> well, right now she's wearing whatever this is, and that gives a lot of insulation. Um. Yeah, let's. Where? Chaps aren't. Really <clears throat> Excuse me. Chaps aren't really gonna do her any good because she's not really aiming. So let's uh, find. Let's make some pants. Let's see. See what kind of uh, pants we can do. Oh, a burka. Kid pants. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna need to make like a little kid uh, romper. Like a kid romper and then probably some, uh, just some pants. I think we actually got some hyperweave pants. Oh, someone else are probably already snagged those like immediately. I can bet. Uh, so let's see. What should we make our? We can make it out of leather. We have a good amount of that somewhere, like plain leather. I think we have, or light leather. Light leather. What is this? Plain leather. Okay. Yeah, we got a bit of that <laughs> because we we got some plain leather. Yeah. There we go. Um, make a kid romp. We need to probably make the kid romper out of something warm. So let's clear. Let's go to wools. We have some of that. Uh, let's make it out of whatever this is. The uh, jo Joseph Forer to Gussie. Well, that's a fucking word. Um, okay, and then pants. Well, let's see, pants. We could probably just make some cloth pants. Yeah, let's make some cloth pants. We'll have uh, Jenny come and do that real quick. Can make your your things. Make the romper for the child, because the child will eventually probably need that. Yeah, this this is a more than enough rice to kind of keep us afloat in winter, and then some like our. Ooh, what that? Did you just make a legendary stir, a sturdy jo? I'm not saying that word. Wool kid romper, legendary. Legendary five hit points, more record value, more defense. Legendary. I forgot she had an inspiration, so she made. Legend, um, legendary little romper for her child. That's kind of cute. Now she's making her some new pants. Hopefully nobody snatches these pants before she gets to put them on. those pants on what else is tattered what what else do you have wait the no oh, the chaps are uh, outer leg take the damn chaps off and we can like have someone how you can repair shit after you eat your foods This is a this repairing stuff is modded is mod modded Minecraft modded Rimworld by the way so if you're playing this game whatever mod adds mending in it uh, mend and recycle yeah that one whatever mod adds that you should probably get it because it lets you repair stuff pretty inexpensively and otherwise there's not really any way to do that in vanilla unless they changed which is I find that a little silly that they don't have that. Need 
need warm clothes. Oh, Olabar, what what did you wear? What are you wearing? Uh, muffalo wool trousers. This thing. I would like something like muffalo that would give me wool, which would be better for making like warm clothes out of, but. We kind of got, Randy decided to give us donkeys, so I was like, you know what, I don't have anyone that can really tame animals. So, yeah, it's, we're kind of stuck with donkeys. I mean, stuck's not really fair to say, they're nice, they're, they're making more donkey, they're making more meat for us. Slowly but surely. Baby. The baby. He's just planting some more. Uh, what else can I grow in this spot besides, like... Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we could grow here. Um, unfortunately, there's not really much better we can grow in these spots other than food. Because hay grass doesn't really respond to better uh, fertility land anyway, so... It would only grow slightly faster in like fertile soil but as it is this these uh this rice that we're growing up here is like more than enough to kind of keep us sustained and eventually we're gonna run out of room and I might have to just convert this into more fridge <laughs> and make this uh, throne room place somewhere else. I figured at that point I'd probably end up wanting to I mean, I could see myself moving this over here to make a bigger fridge, but that seems like it's already, like, excessive. <laughs> like, it already is kind of excessive, honestly, but... I mean, we're gonna have seven people when Bean actually becomes a real person. Bean's right now is just, you know, this little fucking thimble. Oh, god damn it! Really? When did that? Mm. That's a pain. This first time in a long time we've dealt with food poisoning. It's just kind of just sneaking up on us. So yeah, we're gonna stop Huntsman for what he's doing, and we're gonna have him make more new food. That can you clean up the vomit, please? <laughs> we're gonna have him make new food because I don't trust any of this food. Which sucks. So that's like, uh, like sixteen f meals that are just. I'm gonna have to have them go to waste because they're tainted and they're gonna just make people sick. And that's not worth dealing with at this point. Uh, so. So for, for right now, we're gonna. Piece this, and that's gonna be critical. And we're gonna have people come and haul these away. Oh, yeah, I don't know which of these. No, no, 
Not baby food. <laughs> Put the baby food back. It's fine. Probably. I don't know if babies can get food poisoning. <laughs> You have to be very specific in what you tell these people to do, or they'll just do everything but what you want them to do. Alright. I need to very carefully watch you to make sure you're not gonna like throw up and then try to cook more food. Well, well. Yeah, I'm gonna watch him very carefully. For now, that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have him uh, go do something else. Kitchen's closed. <laughs> Kitchen is fucking closed. Bust out some research. Hello, child. Oh, you're a little hungry, aren't you? Hungry and dwowsy. All right, Jenny, you're gonna need to take care of your child. Can't f don't kill the child. All right, we're gonna have um, Jenny here do her stuff with the child here, cause yeah, and then we're gonna be in the stream because it is food time. And then after I get back from food time, we'll be doing some art, an uh, some art stream. Shooting for you don't you don't shoot guns whatever. <laughs> Play with the child. Right, child's sleep. Nope, sleep time. All right, so I'm gonna head and save and quit to OS. Alrighty, so. That's going to be our RimWorld stream for today. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate the shit post text-to-speeches. Appreciate just hanging out. Well, let me go ahead and put that on. But yeah, in a little bit, but a little bit later today. Oh, OBS is like, no, please help. I'm at full KBs, but I'm still showing a red signal because I'm a f fucking terrible program. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna we'll be doing um some um some art stream later, if that sounds inter interesting. I'm more than happy to do requests as well as just sh shit posts or whatever, because that's kind of what most of last art stream was last Saturday. But yeah, um, I have a feeling I know who I'm gonna raid because I think she's online. Let's double check though. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure she's online at least. That she is. Uh, there's a lot of people online. Ah, oh. yeah, there's a few people on. I would like to raid because <laughs> they're all just doing amazing shit right now. Like, Haleen's playing Elden Ring. Another pr person is playing The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and the person who I was gonna raid is um doing uh, Genshin stuff. Hmm. Oh, a toughie. Um, you know what? Let's see how... Uh, yeah, actually. Let's see how Haleen is holding up in Elden Ring. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end my stream, and then we'll start the raid to see Haleen. See y'all there.